disaster. Call for a confidential conversation about your business's current value and how Transworld can maximize your eventual selling price. We will help you win. And in the current climate, you need help to sell your business. Call Transworld at 833-SELL-FLA or visit tworld.com. That's 833 833- Sell FLA or visit tworld.com. Hey there, homeowners. Russ Rollins here. Are you tired of staring at a cold, unused pool? It's time to make a change. Spring is the perfect time to add solar heat to your pool and enjoy it year round. Solar Source customers, they enjoy family time, nighttime pool parties, movie nights, birthdays, and even low impact workouts. Don't let your pool be a monthly expense with no enjoyment. Schedule a free consultation from solarsource.com slash monsters. Remember, friends of Russ Rollins and save even more money. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, Wow, so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Hi, welcome to Ikea and our spring storage event. Oh, hi. Save big on storage with lots of new lower prices and limited time offers. Perfect. I'm making the winter to spring swap, and I have no idea where to put my sweaters and gloves. <laughs> we can help you get organized and store winter away. And we've got in-store events for more inspiration. Sign me up. Visit us in-store from 320 to 49 or at ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for more details. Offer valid dates may vary. U.S. only while supplies last. Selection may vary by store and online. See store on ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for complete terms. Restrictions apply. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. You are now listening to The Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio 104.1. That's right, guys. We're going on a Wednesday edition of the Jim Colbert Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate that as we do every single day, and we do have a good program for you today. We'll get you caught up on what's happening in the world. We'll do that around 3.20 with Woke News. 4 o'clock, it's Animal House. Two segments with our buddy Daryl Payne from Paw Fiction Dog Training. If your animal, dog, has a behavioral issue or a quirk, uh, you can call up Daryl and get some free advice on how to cure that. Five o'clock hour, we'll do our buddy Scott Maxwell from the oh. Orlando Sentinel. Well, Trivia as well. We'll have some cool I'd, stuff to give away. Odd choice of words. Yeah, and, and, it is. I mean, that's asking a lot. <laughs> show up with, uh, you heard it here first, your calls, texts, and talkbacks all day long. Welcome to the program. I am Jim. To my left, my lovely and very dangerous co-host, Ms. Deb Roberts. Hello there. And straight ahead, producer Jack Bradshaw. Good afternoon. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us easily at 77031. Find us on social, Instagram and Facebook at The Jim Colbert Show on Twitter, just at Jim Colbert Show, and of course, all day, every day at jimcolbertlive.com. That's where you can click through. Check us out on YouTube while you're there. Give us a like and subscribe. It is a gigantic help for us if you will do that. We appreciate it greatly. Spread the word about this show. And uh, you can always get involved with a talk back. Download the iHeartRadio app if you already have it. Simply go to Real Radio and use that microphone to send it on down the line. That's what you'll hear all day. People popping in and out of the show, doing the little talk back action. Jack will edit them down. 
and put it on the air for you. And when I say edit it, he does he doesn't take any of your content out. He just makes it so it, it fits perfectly yeah. on the air. Yeah. I'll listen to it. Exactly. Right, 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 right. Make sure you're not being naughty. All right, all right, four oh seven. Your window is not rolled out. Right? There. Nine one six one oh four one. Inevitably we've said it hundred and thirty billion times. I mean, we're gonna get this guy. Hey, can y'all hear me? <laughs> Going seventy down the road in the dump truck. Love it. But I still have to say I appreciate the listener who left the call back yesterday with a screaming child that sounded like it was being abducted behind him at the self checkout line at Walmart. It was just at Walmart. Yeah. That, was a, it, that was a live caller. He was. he was live calling oh, us okay. from Walmart. So oh, yeah, yeah. I, and I realized he must have been listening to the show. Like, as he's pulling in, he's like, oh, I got something to say. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he calls, he goes on hold, and he's like, well, let me get my shopping done. Right, right, he right. was actually by the time we got him, he was checking out. Yeah, he was yep. self-checkout. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. got to get these cheesy puffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, my, 407. My favorite talk back was two days ago, the woman on the horse, because I hear, I go, that's a horse. <laughs> I, that's I, what I, I can hear the cloppity, clippity-clop of a horse. Yeah, and then exactly. She, yeah, at the end, she goes, yeah, and I'm on a horse. <laughs> I'm out driving my horse around, I think she said. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And horse people are odd, man. No, they're not. No, they're horse, people, horse people are a little different than regular pet people. We, I, I live so. in a neighborhood of horse people. The horse people are different. I have to tell you, they got a money. Uh, yeah, no people. doubt. That's they, the first thing. Yeah, yeah. You, you're right. They do because because <laughs> oh. horses are expensive. When Jim Phillips was here yep. and he had a couple horses, uh, I think at the time he was they were either getting out of that whatever. I think his wife still has one actually, but I think they were getting rid of his. And he looks at me and he goes, "Never buy anything that eats while you sleep." <laughs> yeah. And I said, uh, "Yeah." I said, "Well, I'll get rid of my four kids immediately." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He ain't lying though, yeah. right? Yeah, it's not cheap, dude. When you have oh, a horse, it's no. very, to board those things and to feed them every day and have somebody take care of them so you can just pop in on the weekends, give them some love and give them a ride. That's an expensive ass hobby. And not only that, the horse is a completely different animal in terms of like how you approach it. Oh, yeah. What like you know, um, you don't look a horse in the eye. Very temperamental. Oh, very temperamental, and and a lot of health issues. So yeah. I would I love horses, but. I recognize that I don't have the acumen yeah. to actually own one. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the money. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, we could it. start with the obvious. Yeah, the horse is the cheapest thing. Like when you buy the horse, <laughs> that's the cheapest thing. Yeah. But about imagine buying a car for twenty grand and every day it eats a thousand dollars worth of oats. That's what I was just about to say. Right. When the animal costs more than my two thousand seven hundred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You're in bad shape. Yeah, not a good, not a good hobby. Well, guys, I I, I do have some I have some good slash bad news. Bad news for you guys. Great uh, great news for me. Oh, I hate it already. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Usual, so yeah, yeah. what now? <laughs> I hit the Powerball last night. How many? Oh, I hit the one, the one Powerball. The one, what, five dollars? Two dollars, Jack. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking this to lunch. I popped in. I said, oh. "I said now's the time. Now's the, I've waited all this time. Now's the time. It's finally my turn to win the Powerball yeah. uh-huh. or Mega Millions or whatever which one that was. It was Mega Millions last night. Yeah. It was now, like one point one three billion dollars or something. And I've got details coming up yeah. in Woke News. Okay, so. good. I, I would like to forgo at the idea of you sharing that with us. Yeah, no, I would <laughs> share. Oh, you, you, the best thing you ever would happen uh, is if I won the Powerball. Yeah. You would be. But trust me when I tell you. You would be in a very good position I, if I won the Powerball. I believe that because I know who you really are. Yeah, yeah. You'd have the best view of me enjoying my life. <laughs> God bless you, Jimmy. I, I, I'd like you to take last night's winnings and reinvest them. Thank there you, buddy. You go. I'll do that into a scratch off that'll pay me nothing. Somebody went to Scott Brown's yeah. financial seminar. <laughs> right. So I did. I, I got the one number, which was the Powerball number. I think it was four last well, night. Well, you did kind of scare me there for a minute because I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. He wouldn't be here. And I, you're right. He I would not be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling. In rich, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, 407 916 1041. So, there is something going on that I, I, I do need some help with. I know that we have a multitude of careers out there that listen to our show yeah, every we day, do. right? Electricians, builders, accountants, yes. lawyers, yes. even a priest, yeah, a priest, cops, uh, yeah. you know, firemen. We know that there are many, many people who have many, many skills who listen to our show, and everybody knows that I uh, actually closed on my house today. So uh, my house is sold. I have to live in an Airbnb for about a month and a, a week or so until I move into my house because we haven't closed on it yet. And there becomes the issue. Got a phone call today. I want to ask a question. Uh-oh. Uh, you guys are on, okay, you're on city everything, right? Yeah. You're on city sewer, city water? Yes. City sewer, city water, yes, right? Yes, sir. Have you ever owned a property that has a septic tank? No. You never have. Jack, have you ever owned? You have. No, sir. You live in the only house you've ever bought, right? Yep. Yeah. No, a second. Second? Yeah, but bo- both were sewer. Just because so, uh, they those that that seems like a whole... 
It's a thing. It's right? a thing. So you know, the, obviously, the house I'm in now because it's not in an area where it's developed enough to have a sewer system. Not enough property. Uh, not enough homes in this in this area to really justify the build out for the county of Seminole to you know put a put a sewer system in there because unfortunately and it, even though it's a gigantic neighborhood there's only 200 houses in the entire neighborhood and that's just one of these little pop up neighborhoods you see right. like every 20 minutes happening in in, in uh, Orlando I hate it but uh, found out today that both of my uh, the septic tanks are good but the drain fields are bad. Right. And they're allotting us a certain amount of money to take care of this. And what I wanted to know is from our plumber friends out there who do this, what is the average cost of replacing a drain field with or without getting a septic tank? Now, it has like two septic tanks, uh, but we did have an inspector come out and the inspector said that the house could easily operate on one large septic tank. So what we're thinking of doing is wiping out the two and then having one built with a new drain field. But this is one of those things we're kind of dealing with uh, before we decide whether or not we're going to do this or not. The house was built in 56, and uh, the drain fields, I guess, were upgraded in the 70s. But those have, you know, that's still 50 years ago. That's 50 years ago, yeah. yeah. Oh, don't you love those last-minute surprises when you're... Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, when you, here's the thing. Like I told you before, this is kind of not a quite a fixer upper, but it's not far, you know, from a fixer upper. It's just another level fixer upper. We know there's some stuff we've got to like. We know there's a master bathroom has to go in. We know the kitchen's got to have some stuff done, and we knew for a fact that this was probably going to be an issue. They fixed everything else, uh, but this one they just want us to go. Hey, here's the discount. Here's the money to fix it. We're getting out. You do it. And we're trying to figure out where, whether or not the money they're allotting us for it is enough to cover what it's actually going to cost. August 1999. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. Sitting at the closing uh-huh. for the house where I currently reside. And the owner uh, said, uh, listen, we noticed today that there's water running. No. We believe it's a slab leak. Oh! That's a good one there. That's a fun one. And so they knocked five hundred dollars off the price. Five hundred. That's, that's all. That's it. Yeah. I now here's the deal. I got that slab leak fixed for less than three. Really. In nineteen ninety nine. Wow. However, was warned. It's you have copper pipes coming yep. through a slab, that's coming right. through a concrete slab. He goes, this will happen again. Yeah. The lightning strikes called pinholes yeah, cause yeah. pinholes in the copper, right? Yeah. yeah. So the the sec it, it did so I fixed it for less than five hundred. Then maybe years later or so, it happened a second time, and that's when I had the house replumbed. You know, so I got a good deal. He was uh, a fan of the show at the time, and yeah, yeah. Uh, God bless him. <laughs> thank you, Steve, thank you, thank you, Steve Roper. <laughs> so this house is built Let's on a see. on a, on the side of a hill, yeah. so it has a basement. Right, which is so which means oh, cool. which means I have a door cool table, I, but I have a door where I can open up. You wouldn't even know, buddy. When you see what's in there, it's even crazier. But you can open this door and walk under my house. Yeah, I have a yeah. basement too. Yeah, because it's up on these blocks and they have yeah. to even it all out. So we have access to the flooring and the plumbing is easy to get to. I don't I don't even think I can have a slab leak. Like that's not even possible. The impl- the plumbing, electric, all that's been inspected. Everything's fine. Brand new roof or a couple years old. So we know that's good as well. This is like the last cog. In the gear here, and I'm trying to make sure that this is not going to be one of those scary things where you think it's going to be, you know, eight or ten grand, which they're, you know, which they have allotted for a little bit, but you don't want to get in there because I've read you you think it's going to be anywhere from seven to eleven, and then if you have elevation changes or you have to have major excavation because of where it's going to have to wind up going, right. that could be another three sure, on top sure, of it. Sure. So you know, I just yep. don't want any. I you know, I just had a nightmare experience. Uh, with this one, with a construction thing, I do not want to do that again. People, I am crossing all the T's, dotting all the I's, not trusting anybody. People texting Real Mobile at 77031, and the estimates for a replacement drain field are all over the place. Yeah. From $2,800 to... Um, 10 to 15 grand. 10, yeah. 10 to 15 grand, and to one said $1 million. <laughs> But they are coming in pretty <laughs> fast and furious. That one's solid gold. So I love when a topic like this actually hits. And uh, by the amount of people texting, they have dealt with this. I've never had a right. septic yeah. or, or drain field situation. But what I even love more, because I have done it for the past 26 years, when you have that personal problem in your life and you just come here and start <laughs> pouring it out.
looking for that advice it to is make the you, best to make you feel better. Oh yeah, this is the and that's YouTube. That's exactly for- what I'm doing. This is my. This is by the way, you guys are my lawyer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this is YouTube <laughs> University for the ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just you know, blah. And drain the, field. But the cool thing is, the reason why we're it, this is such a great advantage. Jack is right, even though he's being sarcastic and a jackass. Thank you. Um, but the the idea that we have access to so many people that do this or have done this yeah. recently and can give me a really good idea what the actual number is, because when you start typing this in and searching it, I mean, you know, you're going to get a couple numbers, but I mean, the house is kind of a big house. What? And, and it's not because we didn't buy it because it's a big house. Uh, we bought it because of where it is. Another, stop. Another, stop it. Another rich flex. Stop it. Stop it. It's on a rich flex. Trust me. Half of the square footage we don't even use. It's just like at this bottom oh, basement thing. That's even thing. worse. It's not, you think that's it's, good? It's, no, it's like, it, it, trust me, it's not even worse. It has nothing to do with it. But I don't know if that affects, I don't know if it's the number of bathrooms. Tori, Tori, look, I stop. found another wing Will the you house. please stop? <laughs> oh, my God, it's, it's a bathroom. It, it, here's here. the thing. Does it really matter what the square footage is? It's how many bathrooms, right? And how many sinks and showers and stuff, well, right? When that's it comes what really to your matters. Septic and drain field, yeah, yeah that's, that's what exactly I'm talking about. Matters. So I need to figure out, right? Like it's okay. Just think of having like uh, it's got three full bathrooms. Actually, hold on, one, two, th- four, three, four full bathrooms. Oh my god, you rich it, son of a it, bitch! It, it, it's, it has nothing. It's just got four bathrooms. It's just a big stupid house. It's an old house. It's built the fifties for crying out loud. They put bathrooms everywhere. The I, kitchen really has a bathroom. wa- I really want to stop teasing you about this, but you do not make it easy. I, 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 no, not when he sits there I'm and has to count questions. on his fingers for bathrooms. I'm asking questions. That's it. Wait, oh. one, two, three. Yeah, that's why it's four. Oh my god. I, Tori, I just I just found another half bath. But the one I have now is a There's has a family a, here. It has half oh bath. Oh my god, we have squatters. <laughs> but I just, hey, I've got a lot of story coming up about that. Here's the thing, it doesn't matter how many it does because we're it's just still two people. So it's still two people. People doing it, so I don't need some aquarium-sized septic tank. I just need a regular two-people septic tank. Let me tell you what I did learn, and this was a conversation with Handy John, a well-known listener of the program and the station. He was going through this and found out they don't determine your septic needs by the amount of bathrooms. They determine it by the amount of bedrooms. Oh, do they really? Because it, you could have one bath. Or three, right? Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. That doesn't it's matter. How many people? It's how many people will be using right, them. Right, that's exactly so right. So it's the number of bedrooms. That's what you have to account okay, for. Okay, now right. count so, on your fingers yeah, and again. You're make, what are you, 13, 15 bedrooms in no, this place? No, it's not. It's four bedrooms. Four it's bedrooms. It's a four bedroom house. And and six offices. It's not an office. It's, it's a four bedroom <laughs> house. It's a kitchen. It's a den. And, it's a and it's eight, a dining room. And, and eight family rooms. No, it's just a, 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 a small master. It's the bottom, it's that stupid basement thing that's all the square footage. That's all it is. It's just a big waste area. Do you need a golf like, cart to get around no, your property? You, no, yeah, kind of. Anyway, 407-916-1041. Text us at 7703. It's just an old beater house. It is basically in disrepair. Oh. It, this could be my financial ruin. Okay, and I hope it bathroom, is, so you'll shut up. Yeah. Two bathrooms. I, 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 I hope this ruins me financially, so I you four. can shut up and leave me alone. Wait, only four bedrooms? All right, 407-916-1041. Do we have news like I care? <laughs> yeah, Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> We're going to talk about divers' resumes. Resuming recovery efforts while the NTSB recovers the ship's recorder in Baltimore. Closer to home, this will warm the cockles of your heart. Orange County is going to pay One Pulse Foundation's taxes. Are you kidding? How sweet, right? Holy ass. And then the National Retail Federation predicts record spending for Easter 2024. We'll talk about that and more. Coming up next during Woke News. Thanks, Deb. 407-916-1041. Also, we have Religion is Going Through a Churning. Uh, interesting book in crimes and something that happened this weekend. And some friends are trying to set a world record. And what they're going to do is actually kind of funny. We'll tell you about that as well. Deb's News coming up next here on the Jim Colbert Show. This is Real Radio 104.1. Online at realradio.fm. On your phone with the free iHeartRadio app. And on your smart speaker. Alexa, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. It would be my pleasure. Heavy traffic reported this afternoon in the Orlando area on I-4 as you travel by the major attractions exits. Looking at a crash southbound on OBT blocking the right lane at the Greenway exit. Another crash reported westbound on the 408 that blocks the left lane at Crystal Lake Drive. If you see other traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then 
Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. You know, inflation is running high and nobody has a clue when this is going to level out, but you can buy your windows and doors at FAS Windows and Doors right now and lock in your price. These guys have the largest window and door showroom in all of Central Florida. 38 unique windows ready for you to operate. Pick out your favorites. These windows and doors are built with impact resistant glass for security, noise reduction, and maximum efficiency. Not to mention they have a full selection of hurricane windows and doors. All estimates are always free and they always give you tons of options. And even better, every single one of these products has a lifetime warranty. And if you act right now, rebates of $55 per window and $95 per door. You're going to love doing business with this company. Been with them for many, many years. A couple of my homes have new windows courtesy of FAS Windows and Doors. And it is awesome. Your house feels better, really, in the summer. That's where it shines, man. The humidity is low. It just feels great. It's quieter in your home. Your AC works less, which means it lasts longer. And, of course, your power bills drop as well. They do have no money down, no interest, no payment, 12 months financing for a limited time. So grab that now. Showroom is easy to find. Banks and I, of course, slide in, pick out your windows. You're going to love it. It's FASWD.com. Divorce? Call Trendley and Kramer. TK Law. One firm for life.com. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Adrenalast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water, but it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions or a sausage egg and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty or a bacon egg and cheese bagel with thick cut applewood smoked bacon enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at mcdonald's Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. at participating mcdonald's when you're eating mcdonald's spicy chicken mcnuggets take a moment to appreciate that they're back and while you may be eager to reach for another mcnugget take a moment to let the spice settle because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. McD app download and registration required. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, iHeart Media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else. And we can give you access to those potential customers more cost-effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeart Media can work for you. From your cell, dial pound 250 and say keyword, great results. That's pound 250 and say great results. Are you a victim of the Tomshire trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original Tomshire cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a Tomshire exit information kit absolutely free explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. 
pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abvi. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL Draft is right around the corner, and the Move to Six podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. Beat the buzzer and get closeout pricing on all remaining 2023 models at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Are you offended? Obviously, we're only kidding. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show. Welcome back to The Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. If you want to leave us a talk back, you can do that. Bust my balls a little bit. I don't care. I can take it. I'm a big girl. (laughs) Just get the iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it and use that microphone to send it on down the line. You're welcome to rag on Jack as well. I can let you borrow mine. No, thank you. I'll pass. Okay. 407 916. Too big, I understand. Deb is off limits. <laughs> Deb is off limits. We'll crush her soul. <laughs> All right. 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Jack is right over there, and Deb has your news. And now it's time for woke news. It seems like kind of a misuse of the whole world. On the Jim Colbert Show. And Woke News, as always, is brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. All right, crews are resuming recovery efforts uh, this afternoon for the six construction workers presumed dead after yesterday's bridge collapse in Baltimore. The search for the missing workers was suspended last night because of diminished visibility and treacherous currents in the busy harbor, or cold. what used to be a busy harbor. The water's cold. It's cold up there. degrees. That's right. It's like 35 degrees up there in the evenings, man. Just getting into that water in general would have been dangerous, much exactly. less falling from the bridge into it, you know? Well, overnight, the NTSB boarded the ship that crashed into the Francis Scott Bridge, and the head of the NTSB said the agency recovered the ship's voyage data recorder. Now, how long do you think an investigation into the incident could take? Oh, man. A year, Jack? Oh, I got to go less than that. I'm even going to give you some courtesy time. I'll go 11 and a half months. Oh, uh, points, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, some of <laughs> Two years. Really? Two years. And not only that, they said that because this ship, of course, 95,000 pounds, it has 56 containers that has hazardous materials on it. Oh, and of, course the, I, of course. Of right, course. Of course. Right, There's the icing. And the bow of the ship is actually sitting on the river bottom. Oh, my God. Because of the weight of not just its cargo. But the bridge now that's on top of it. The bridge that's now sitting on top of it. Yeah, because it's all those I-beams and iron. They're going to take all that out. And I heard Mayor Pete uh, Pete Buttigieg. Uh, uh, Transportation Secretary. Exactly. Talking about the entire thing today. And, you know, one of their biggest concerns is it shuts down the port. And And I learned today that's one of the major areas for automobile imports. So they bring the cars in there, and actually at the port, there's a facility that some of the vehicles come in unfinished. Right. So that they can say, I guess, you know, finished or partially built uh, or uh, assembled in the yeah, USA. Assembled in the yeah. USA. So they do that. But all that is shut down now. There are other ports that do that. And then the cruise industry now. Right. Until they get that out of the out of the um, uh, the channel, until they get all that channel, you can't take any ship up and down None. there. None. And it's the ninth busiest port in the U.S. Yeah. And outside of, um, you know, foreign-made cars and trucks... It's also the second biggest hub in the United States for coal. Is it? They also bring in raw sugar. Um, Plus so what we're is, shipping out. Exactly. So a lot of uh, the good news is for the state of Florida is some of that overflow business that can't be taking place in the Northeast may be rerouted here right, to the right. state of Florida. All right. A settlement is, has been reached between Disney and Florida after a year's long battle. The Central Florida Tourism Oversight District announced the entertainment company and the board have agreed to a settlement aimed at ending all lawsuits against each other. Now, kids, play nice. (laughs) 
Governor DeSantis and state lawmakers set up the board to replace Disney's self-governing Reedy Creek Improvement District. The legal disputes began two years ago when Disney criticized a new Florida education law known by critics as the Don't Say Gay Bill. Mm. All right. uh, Meanwhile, a controversial Disney project is moving forward. The Orange County Commission voted yesterday to send an affordable housing project to the state for review. Disney wants to build over a thousand affordable multifamily housing units in Horizon West, but it needs the county to approve a land use change. Now, residents who support and oppose the project showed up at that meeting. Supporters say, listen, the county needs more affordable housing. Opponents say, yeah, but this is in the wrong place, and it's going to make matters already worse. Overcrowded schools, overcrowded roads, just not the place, not the time. Right, right. I always thought this thing, when I heard about it initially, because this has been spoken about now for a few years. A couple years, two years. I genuinely thought this was, is is this only for Disney employees? Is it specific? I, I don't know if legally it, they could do that. It sounds like it, it, it sounds like the company stores. What it sounds like, yeah, like yeah. like subsidized housing from the company to work for the company. And if you don't work for the company, you can't live there uh, because it's specifically designed for people who have the monetary needs to afford that type of housing. That's what I thought it was. I didn't even know the general public had access to this. Well, I, I'm sure they – I don't know what the laws are for that. Of yeah. course, that's what Epcot started off right, to be, right? right? right. It was yeah. supposed to be the city – where all of the cast members that worked at the theme park would actually live, work, and play. Right. Really? Yeah, it was not meant to be a theme park. It was a yeah, conceptual a community city. community of tomorrow is what the like, – something, something community of tomorrow, yeah, exactly. right? Prototype. Yeah, and ex- then they're like, wait, we can sell tickets for I, this. I think it's experimental prototype community of That's tomorrow exactly what is, is what yeah. Epcot stands for. And it really it was never designed to be a theme park in the beginning. So I don't know, though, what laws would allow them to say, yeah, you don't work at Disney, you couldn't leave here or live here. But Commissioner Nicole Wilson says after the state weighs in, residents will get another chance to share their thoughts. She tells Orlando Sentinel there are still issues to be worked through. All right. Uh, a new law aimed at targeting squatters in Florida will take effect this summer for anyone who has rental property or is thinking about getting rental property. Of course, that story of some uh, Social media influencers taking over the million-dollar mansion in Beverly Hills, and they can't kick them out. Have you heard about that story? No. Oh yeah, they can't, they're just squatting in this million-dollar mansion. Oh, and I I do remember that for clicks. Do you do you remember the guy that we talked about that uh, that learned how to get these people out? He, he would hire himself out, and he's this tough guy. Oh, that's right. He would move into the house where the right. squatters were <laughs> because he would basically yeah. just keep squatting with them yeah. and then go in there and do stuff that would annoy the squatters that they would wind up leaving, <laughs> like like playing his music loud right. and turning the water off to the property and everything. Just do all this stuff until they went. He says, look, it's dangerous because some of these people are pretty damn unsavory, but uh, it would work. Well, now you don't, won't need to do that. The law will be on your side. Mm. Governor Ron DeSantis was in Orlando to sign the legislation earlier today. The measure is going to strip squatters of their rights, allowing tenants to immediately remove people living illegally on their property after they simply fill out a form and hand it to local police. It will also create tougher penalties for anyone who presents a false lease or deed agreement. The law will go into effect in July. Oh, Jimmy, this next story. Do I want to hear it? I know it's the one you've been waiting for. I feel angry already. Yeah, you're going to be really angry. I'm listening. You listening, Jack? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready for Jim to be angry. (laughs) Roll some video, baby. (laughs) Orange County is picking up the tab for One Pulse Foundation's unpaid taxes. The county commission voted yesterday (sighs) to pay... $52,000. Holy ass. And unpaid property taxes from last year. Now, the property in question is at Cayley Street and Division Ave, where the foundation planned to build a memorial. The city already gave him him $2 million that they didn't do anything with. They were supposed to build a museum there. Simmer down. Okay. Planned to build a memorial to the victims of the 2016 deadly mass shooting. Now, Mayor Jerry Deming says he didn't want to run the risk of the property being put on a tax auction block. Commissioner uh, Myra Uribe tells Channel 9 she's very upset the county has to do this, but she didn't want to risk losing the entire value of the property. So the the county has the property, right? They, yes. They receive the property. And then so, like, they get stuck with an unpaid tax bill. It, it, it's not too dissimilar from 
uh, Jimmy buying a new house and getting <laughs> stuck with the bill of having to no, fix I'm... a drain field. But at least they well, adjust yeah. they adjust the price to make sure that's the case. That did not happen with this. This is a mess. This is a mess. And yeah. I mean, to the point where the county comptroller is like, I'm not even really feeling very comfortable <laughs> right. it's, it's talking in... or looking at these documents. When you when you read the entire it's package so that is that thing, it is bananas. It really is. And then the city has, like, no answers. They're just shutting down everything. Like, oh, no, we're just going to do that anymore. <laughs> it's so crazy, man. Where did the money go? Yeah, no, yeah, nobody yeah. knows. Yeah, exactly. Well, they, they, say it's a, they say it was a, a admin cost, this cost, that cost. And then they were like, well, okay, we'll just take your word for it, I guess. Yeah. I want receipts. Yeah, no S. And that's, you know, part of the issue with this problem is, like, the foundation is like, well, we don't have an office anymore, so we don't have anybody who can review these, these documents. But, oh. you know, if you want to send someone over and take a look at them and everyone's like yeah no nothing about this sounds right, right. It's not to mention another cost sure. exactly exactly all right more than two dozen people from haiti are in central florida after their plane landed safely last night another flight from the caribbean country landed at orlando international airport including many young children uh, hours before their arrival state representative maxwell frost held a community roundtable calling for additional protections for haitians fleeing the violence State emergency officials are planning to fly a 60% plan out of Haiti sometime today. All right, a portion of an Orlando roadway has uh, taken on a new name in honor of a fallen officer. State and city leaders gathered along Kirkman Road earlier this morning to unveil the new signage for Officer Kevin Valencia Memorial oh, Highway. Yeah, that's good. Man. Valencia was shot while responding to a domestic violence incident back in 2018. He passed away three years later. The same suspect later killed four children before taking his own life. The memorial you'll be able to find between Conroy and Vineland Roads. Oh, Marion County. What did you kids do? <laughs> what are you doing over there, Marion? Oh. <laughs> What's up, Slow Cal? Oh. <laughs> yeah. These guys, little... these guys had a hot run last year. Man. Remember, like it seemed like every other week there was some kind of abduction murder story coming out of Ocala. <laughs> it's, been it's so crazy over there. I know, but this one you're going to want to pour a little out on the ground for the kids. All right. Because a change is coming to one of the lowest performing schools in Marion County. Poor went out for just the students of of this particular school because the school board voted yesterday to make students at Wyomina Park Elementary School go to school all year long. Oh, I love it. The school is enrolling in a pilot oh, so, program. So, so, real quiet. I thought I heard the parents screaming for, for, for complete joy there for a second. I'm sorry. My apologies. I didn't mean to interrupt. The school is enrolling in a pilot program that's in place in two other school districts in Florida, and I believe Volusia County may be another one. I believe there may be a school in Volusia County uh, being in this pilot as well. The year-round calendar could start as early as July. Oh, yeah. Students will still have the same 180 school days everyone else has, and they'll also still get time off. For holidays and spring break, but principal Victoria Hunt tells West 2 News, you know, research shows dividing student learning into smaller chunks helps them retain what they learn, right? Isn't that the challenge of every new school year is seeing what they forgot over the it, summer vacation? It is kind of, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, actually, the uh, National Hurricane Center has been holding a hurricane conference here in Orlando this week. Really? Yeah, it's not just NFL owners. And uh, this is from AccuWeather, okay? So this is not the National Weather Service. This is not the National Hurricane Center in Miami. This uh, is just one of... Okay. Uh, because they're saying, AccuWeather is saying, strap in for a quote-unquote explosive 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. No! Uh -huh. AccuWeather lead hurricane forecaster Alex De Silva says, last year the Atlantic recorded the warmest Sea surface temperatures to date. This is an article I sent to Jimmy like last week sometime. Right. Jack, it's this one headline I keep seeing over and over again from climate scientists and scientists in general. They can't figure out since March of last year why the sea surface temperatures are the warmest they've ever been. They're like, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. We can't figure mm -hmm. out what's going on. Mm. We That's always good when the scientists Isn't don't that? Know. Yeah, that's that's very common. I always find that pretty positive. So that means we can expect more powerful storms, especially as we transition this summer from El Nino to La Nina. Okay. Now, uh, this uh, forecaster, Alex De Silva, is predicting a supercharged season with how many named storms, you guys think? Oh, God, Jack, go ahead. 26. 20 to 25. 
strong it up, my friend, including 8 to 12 hurricanes, four of them major. I was going to say 23 for the record, which puts me in the dead center of the wind, you which is an actual dog. You know what? We'll split it. No, he's never going to give me a chance. It's we'll dead. It. We'll split it. Uh, no, dead. I'm generous. It's dead. You He'll see? give you half the dong. Yeah, I, it's I'm, dead like my drain fields. I, I'm really a kind person, and I think you oh, don't like you, it when I, when, I get oh, to, oh. when I get to prove it to you. Here we go. Oh, 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 just a little nug. I, I, Experts say South Florida, the Panhandle, Texas, and the Carolinas face a heightened risk of impacts from a storm during the season that runs June 1st through November 30th. I'm and just so glad that a like a really volatile hurricane season will have no effect on our property taxes. None at all, or your drain fields. <laughs> no and as a reminder of how long it can take a community to bounce back, mm-hmm. uh, the city in Bay County, that's is up in the Panhandle, hit the hardest by Hurricane Michael, continues to bounce back. A ribbon cutting ceremony was held yesterday for a new playground in Mexico Beach which was virtually wiped off the, the map City. Yep, at uh, Parker Park. The town was ground zero for the Category 5 storm that hit over five years ago, forecast to hit as a Cat 2 or Cat 3, 24 hours later, geared up to a Cat 5. Gonzo. One woman involved in the project tells News 13, it's been amazing to witness the town rebuild and come back so much stronger. Okay, tomorrow could mark the end of an era for the Space Coast. United Launch Alliance is planning to send, send a Delta IV heavy rocket into space from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, but it's going to be the rocket's 16th and final mission. ULA is replacing the Delta IV heavy with the Vulcan Centaur. A ULA official says the new rocket's cheaper, provide more value. He also tells News 6 that with the Vulcan Centaur, ULA has a big future ahead. Thursday's launch window opens at 1.40 p.m. And a slight confession, I always feel like I have to be very careful when I say Vulcan Centaur. Yeah, you have to be very <laughs> careful, right, right, Very right. careful. Yeah. All right, although no one in Florida won the Mega Millions jackpot from Tuesday night's drawing, two tickets purchased in the Sunshine State did match five of the six numbers drawn, although we did know one ticket matched the Powerball, At right, least, Jimmy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, Two dollar. Big winner. Two dollar. Now, these tickets are worth $1 million apiece and were sold at a Publix in Jacksonville and a gas station in Crawfordville. Here's the interesting twist to this part, Jimmy and right. Jack. That Publix in Jacksonville was the same store that sold a $36 million Mega Millions ticket last August. But if you remember, that ticket expired. And the prize money went oh, unclaimed. Oh, oh that God one hurts. Almighty. Can oh, you imagine? Can't believe that happened in Jacksonville. There was one winner of the more than $1 billion jackpot from Tuesday night. Let's all hope Jack knows them because the person who won is in Jersey. Yeah. Let's go. Did New you hear about Jersey. this, Jack? What's his name, Bill? No, shut up. <laughs> Louis. Whatever, whatever, where, where, whoever it is, Jack, he's wearing a track suit for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and a gold matter. chain. Right. All right, you guys have plans for Halloween? Halloween. Halloween. I'm sorry, Easter. Sorry. Uh, yeah, going, yeah. Going, to, uh, yeah. going to brunch at uh, the in-laws. Oh, cool. That'll be nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to play. Okay, well, consumer spending is expected to reach over how much money this Easter? Spending on what? Easter dinner? Just oh. everything, Jack. Come on. Stop being so complicated. No, I want more information to Two make billion. an educated guess. Two billion. It's got to be more than that. Yeah, that sounds would, like that so sounds like a She wouldn't ask dinner. if it was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, two billion and one. Twenty-two billion dollars this Easter. Is that a bell or just a a gong or a bell? That's not just a bell. That's a quarter of a bell. That's a. There you go. Lower volume bell. There you go. According to the annual survey by the National Retail Federation, eighty-one percent of us plan to celebrate Easter this year. They we plan to spend an average of one hundred seventy-seven dollars per person, and we'll spend the most on food, followed by clothing, and then gifts. Think of new Easter outfits to go to Easter church mm-hmm. on Sunday. Uh, half of all households with children are planning an Easter egg hunt at home, mm-hmm. while most, uh, while the most popular Easter Sunday activities include Easter egg hunts, Easter egg hunts, and as well, what else? Egg coloring. Uh, I miss those days. Cooking a holiday meal. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. Visiting friends and family. All right. And 43% of respondents plan to go to church. Really? That's nice. Yeah. Isn't this that is, good? This is one of the two times a year that they go. Yeah. Christian. Uh, what do they call C&E them? Uh, Christmas Cap, and yeah. Easter. C&E. Yeah. C&E. C&E. C&E Christians. C&E yeah. Christians. There you go. And now you all are officially woke. Thanks, Deb. 407-916-1041. You can text us easily at 77. 77- 
zero three one. Puffy is in trouble. There's a couple of things about that case that are interesting. Oh, really? I hadn't heard anything. <laughs> What's going on with Puffy? It's his mule that I'm concerned with. I'll be back in a second. Real radio is real music weekends. We don't need no education. Real music weekends this weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Wednesday. And for today, we are expecting some increasing shower and thunderstorm chances. Most of these will be scattered and stay to the north of Orlando. But we could expect some isolated downpours, some of which could have some heavy rain, small hail, gusty winds, and frequent lightning. These will taper off a bit throughout the overnight. A cold front, though, arrives tomorrow, bringing with it the increasing chance of a few more showers and thunderstorms, looking drier and sunnier, though, into the weekend. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. Business owners, had enough of this yet? Are you just done and ready to retire? Is money tight or maybe business is at an all-time high? You have options. Don't just walk away. We can help you sell, retire, and just relax no matter what your situation is. Hi, I'm Andy Cagnetta, and at Transworld Business Advisors, we've been selling businesses for over 40 years. And with offices located around the world, we have thousands of buyers ready to buy your business now. Don't wait until the last minute or try to do it yourself. That is a recipe for disaster. Call for a confidential conversation about your business's current value and how Transworld can maximize your eventual selling price. We will help you win. And in the current climate, you need help to sell your business. Call Transworld at 833-SELL-FLA or visit tworld.com. That's 833-SELL-FLA or visit tworld.com. Your home is unique, and that means it should not be treated like every other house on the block, right? It's where you make memories with your family and friends and celebrate special moments both big and small. Renewal by Anderson knows that, and their skilled team of specialists are dedicated to making sure your window replacement is the best home improvement project you've ever done. Because in all honesty, Renewal by Anderson is really a customer experience company. They just happen to sell windows and doors. In fact, Renewal by Anderson has the most five-star reviews and their products are backed by some of the strongest warranties you will find anywhere. So get started now. During the month of March, buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, just visit rbafla.com for details. License number CGC 1527613. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. When you enter a place of business, you're owed a legal duty that the place of business is safe for you to shop in. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you suffered an injury at a place of business, our duty is to protect you after that harm. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Com. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just 
Search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Why choose a Sleep Number Smart Bed? Can it keep me warm when I'm cold? Wait, no. I'm always hot. Sleep Number does that. The Climate 360 Smart Bed actively cools or warms up to 13 degrees on either side for your ideal sleep temperature. 94% of Sleep Number smart sleepers report better sleep. J.D. Power ranks Sleep Number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in-store. And now save $1,000 on our most popular Sleep Number smart bed and Saturday. For J.D. Power 2023 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. To find a store near you, visit sleepnumber.com. At International Diamond Center, nobody tells our story better than our own non-commissioned diamond experts. In the 17 years that I've been in this industry, I have never been able to offer my clients the things that I can offer at IDC. What's best about our company is that we have access to far more options than most retailers typically do. None of us are paid on commission at all, so our interests are pure. We always encourage people to shop around because we know that our prices are good enough. You will be back. It's not a selling environment at all. We want to know what's most important to you and help you get there. We take care of your ring for life. We invite you in as an extension of our family. It's about helping each client achieve what they want to become a hero. When we approach it in such a straightforward manner, it's refreshing. They almost look at you with a sigh of relief, like you take the mystery away. The merchandise that we have is unmatched. The prices that we have are incredibly competitive. Our quality is unsurpassed. International Diamond Center. Discover the difference. Our people. Get store hours, directions, and more at shopidc.com. This is why YouTube was created at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. So I'm not saying it's right, but if somebody gives you a fake lease and you end up staying there under that false lease, not knowing it, you can get kicked out immediately, even if it's not your fault. Cool. That is true. I think we talked to Ray about that a couple of times, how terrible that is, which is happening a lot now. As people just go online and find houses that are up for sale, they'll create a fake lease with that address. Yeah. They'll lease it to somebody online. Not even, it's not even their house. They it's collect not. the money. And then when they find them, they just boot them right out, like immediately. I don't think these even, I don't even think there's a legal process. You're not even there legally, you know? Yeah. You got hat. Yeah, yeah, man, that is terrible, buddy. I hope that didn't happen to you. If it did, man. We feel for you for sure. Hopefully you can get some closure there. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. What you just heard is a talk back. You could do that as well. It's free. You don't have to do anything. You just have, to have the iHeartRadio app, which you can download for free on both Apple or on all platforms. And when you get it, go to Real Radio. Use that little microphone to send it on down the line. Uh, I am Jim. Deb and Jack are here as well. Um, so this Diddy thing is blowing up pretty bad. <laughs> Um, and it's interesting. Have you seen, you know, we talked about his drug mule uh, getting arrested because he had, you know, duffel bags. And apparently this guy, a 25-year-old white kid, uh, was a guy who was, you know, the the allegations are that he's, his job basically was to procure all the party goods for. And guns. And guns uh, for Diddy and his crew, right? Yeah. Have you seen his photograph? I have not. Now, look, here's the thing, guys. This is not the play. Yeah, I don't care. If Diddy is gay, that does not matter. It doesn't. I mean, if he did something to somebody to force them into, yeah, regardless of their gender, a homosexual relationship with him because that's his thing. Well, obviously that is bad or whatever. But if you're trying to shake the idea that there's a possibility that you're into guys, having this twink as your as your drug guy <laughs> is not the way to do it. Because I mean, I look, I was like, oh yeah, Diddy's drug guy. Let's take a peek. And I was like, oh god. <laughs> I was like, oh my, can you get even more twinkish than that? This kid is the skinniest white kid with like lines cut in his eyebrows. And it is, he looks like a straight up, like that's exactly what he looks like. The only picture I see is a Syracuse basketball player. Is he really? Yeah. (laughs) I don't know how tall or bigger he is. Former Syracuse basketball player arrested, accused of being drug mule for rapper. Does that photograph have the cuts in his his eyebrows or whatever? This is his playing days, Jim. Oh, was it really? Oh, okay. You got to look for his thug life days. (laughs) You gotta look for a stuck man. He's in. That is a mess. Because and now he, people are starting. It. Once that once that seal is broken, much like the Kevin Spacey thing, right? Even though that turned out to be a bunch, but all these other things, Weinstein and other players like that. Once that seal is broken, 
and people see that the blowback isn't exactly what they thought it was going to be like, in other words, there really aren't going to be many repercussions, well, man, then the floodgates come open, and that's what's happening right now. What I find interesting is that the floodgates are opening, but only on one side. Normally, if if something like this were... If he were still such a power player or I just can't believe it, you'd hear some people coming to his defense. Right. But you're not hearing that. What you're hearing instead is other rappers and singers actually coming out, like you said yesterday, 50 Cent, 50 Cent saying, I've been telling you guys this was going on for years. So you don't see any defense for Diddy. What you do see is people saying, oh, yeah, this has been going on a long time. Which is, that's another bizarre aspect to this. People like... I don't know if they expect cred for how long yeah. they've known about yeah. this, but that is odd, isn't maybe it? didn't say something. It's like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Well, isn't that what the, the whole industry is yeah. built on? Well, right? you know, the for that. The snitches, stitches yeah. theory. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's how a man like Harvey Weinstein was able to exist in Hollywood for decades before. Oh. You know, he finally came tumbling down because the power kept them in in position. And I think you made a very good point. Even though he's very wealthy in the business, as far as I know it, he isn't even a tenth as relevant as he used to be as as far as a star maker or a power broker. So maybe that's exactly why. Like, I can't. I can't be affected. I can't be affected negatively by him anymore. I don't. He couldn't make that phone call the way that Harvey could and say, "Hey, this person doesn't work in this in this business anymore," which he did a number of times. I don't, I don't think that Diddy can do that anymore. And, and what you've seen in this case, where you see in other cases, is they go for the little guy first, right? Right. Start building your case. Find yep. out what what's in that plane outside of the drugs and the guns, and yeah. keep building your case with those lower level than medium level before you go get the head of the snake. And like you know, like you, when you deal with things like this, it's so funny because people are always like, "Oh, the government comes in so hard. They're just you know, the, you know they they you know they didn't have to go." Because one of the big complaints is, you know, I don't know if you guys heard From the other attorneys. story. Mm-hmm. The other story was is that a very famous director, and I can't remember who it is exactly right now. Spielberg. No lives right next door to him. Oh, uh, Ridley Scott. Yeah, Ridley Scott lives right next door to him, and he was not able to get to his house oh. the entire day because so many cops were there. They sent up to 40 people from different agencies on that property that day looking for uh, looking for some kind of evidence. And 50 Cent tweeted out, because they have a little bit of a beef, by the way, he tweeted out, look, man, the feds don't come that hard unless they know. Like, they're not going to they're not going to risk some kind of civil action from a guy that that's that's that has unlimited resources if they don't have some kind of evidence solid that they're coming in there. So that's that's that was his take. Well, and to me, yeah, if you're coming in with 40 agents in a single story split level ranch, that's a little heavy handed. When you're going to a home on Star Island and his home in Los Angeles, which probably has 40 separate rooms to begin with, you know, the whole point of executing the search warrant is to get in when they don't know that you're coming. Take advantage of the of the surprise and get as much evidence as you can with that large size property. Imagine what his sons or associates could have done right yeah and getting rid of potential evidence had you know while one agent is busy in this side of the house they're on the other side of the house taking care of business and another uh, big star that he uh, i think he had a um he had a group called danity kane which was like a three-person kind of destiny's child kind of group and the leader of that band or that group was aubrey o'day who i, I think is still in the business in some way shape or form but uh, i'm not super familiar with her but she's another one who is like Straight up, been telling you all this for years. This guy is a bad seed. This is a lot of crazy stuff. And did you hear the Usher stuff? No. Usher was taken under Diddy's wing when he came into the business. And he said at 14 or 15, 16 years old, he lived with Diddy for a year to kind of learn the business. Now, he said he didn't say that anything happened to him like that, but he did say that he saw things that made him confused. Whoa. Well, what about what what could you have seen as a 14-year-old kid or 15-year-old kid understanding what normal, you know, man-woman relationships or sex looks yeah. like? What could be so confusing that he couldn't describe it? Oh, I've got some ideas. Yeah, I do too. But yeah. I also think it's interesting when you go back to when Jennifer Lopez when JLo was dating Diddy back in the early days in the of 99, her career, or yeah, the late 90s. And her people were saying He's not good. Was it? There was a, a story that that the cops were called to the house, and she was like handcuffed to a pole or something. I had never heard that, but I just <laughs> always heard that her handlers and people had been yeah. well aware of Diddy's reputation, 
And being that she was an up and coming star and her star was quickly rising, yeah, yeah. they were like, you do not want to attach yourself to this kind of guy. Well, we'll see, what, see what happens. It's uh, thick, thick, thick up in there. Yeah, it is. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. If you have a question about your animal's behavior, we deal with dogs during this uh, segment. Daryl Payne will be in a couple seconds from Paw Affection Dog Training. So if you have any calls. Or have any questions, hop on board now, 407-916-1041. All lines are open. Line up. Daryl's got your answers next. Your 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. Looking at a slow ride on I-4, both east and westbound this afternoon by the major attractions exits. A crash currently westbound on Maitland Boulevard is blocking two right lanes westbound between Maitland Avenue and I-4, causing very heavy traffic on the roadway in that area. If you run into other traffic problems today, make sure you call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. You know, look, you have your house. Everything's awesome. You love it. You took some time. You got the kitchen just right. You got the flooring you love. The paint colors are absolutely perfect. All the furniture looks good. Even outside, it's wonderful. You're so proud of your home, except you've got that one bathroom. It could be the master bath. could be the guest bath. And that thing is bringing your entire property down. But every time you make a move or talk to people to get a place remodeled, they're trying to talk you out of it, saying it's going to be a nightmare. It's going to take months. You're only going to have one bathroom. It's going to be a worst experience you've ever had. Well, that could be the case if you don't use Rebath in mid-Florida because these guys, none of that is in play. Four to six days is how long it takes to demo and replace or remodel your bathroom with Rebath. And they do it with their crew. That means no subcontractors. And they give you a lifetime guarantee on the products and the install and the install did you hear that that's insane that never happens in the construction business and on top of all of that you get tons of choices for all the stuff that goes in your bathroom sinks and tubs and tile and lighting cabinetry they have so many so many options their design team will sit down with you hand in hand design this bathroom you're going to love it and if you're ever worried about integrity when it comes to this company do not the big stores the blue one and the orange one they do their installations with Rebath. That's right. If they can trust them, you can as well. Log on to the website, look at the before and afters, then book your appointment. It's RebathMidFLA.com. Stock it with a shot! Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Stock it, McGuire! Orlando City is back at home this Saturday, March 30th at 7.30 p.m., taking on the New York Red Bulls. Join us at Intern Coast Stadium for Kids Night Out that will be full of mascots, video games, cartoons, and outright silliness as we celebrate the next generation of MLS fans with a special night dedicated to our youngest fans. Tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Uh, yes, I need a new air conditioner. Do you... For a list of things we do, press 1. I just want to know if you install new air con... For a list of things we don't do, press 5. Why would I want a list of things you don't... To save us time explaining it to you. Well, I'd hate to waste your time. So if you'll just press 5, I'll give you a list of what we don't do. Right. Which is a lot. You know, this would never happen with Frank Gay. If you'd call Frank Gay, you'd probably be talking to a person by now. That would be nice. But we're more efficient. Amazing the time we save ourselves by making customers press buttons and talk to robots all day. I'm calling Frank Gay. When you need a new air conditioner, you need it done right. A helpful operator to make it easy. And your new AC installed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. Are you sure you don't want to hear the list of things we don't do? Our list is much longer than Frank Gay's list. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Join a one-night spring edition of Harry's Sip and Saver, April 6th, 6.30 at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, 9840 International Drive, featuring mixology and culinary arts. Harry'sPoolside.com slash Harry's Sip and Saver. Nothing can quite make your heart skip a beat like knowing you need a new roof. For starters, which company do you hire? 
K1 Roofing is a leading local roofing company with over 30 years of experience servicing Central Florida homes. But don't call them roofers. They consider themselves masters of their craft, and they offer a full range of services from new construction projects to old home restoration. At K1 Roofing, they strive to develop smart solutions that save you time and money. K1 Roofing sticks to their deadlines and consistently stay under their clients' budgets while ensuring excellent quality control. In fact, they are so confident in their work, they offer a complete customer satisfaction guarantee. And you don't hear that very often anymore. Book your no-obligation consultation with K1 Roofing today by calling 407-913-9057. That's 407-913-9057 or go online to k1roofing.com. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jar Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice. Watch the roulette wheel spin and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star. Sip cocktails that shimmer then dive into the heart of las vegas right here in tampa bay live craps roulette sports betting is here get in on the action now only at seminole hard rock hotel and casino tampa located off of i4 near i-75 gambling problem call 188 a picture is worth a thousand words but a video is priceless i'm attorney mo dewitt and we have access to every single traffic camera in the state of florida injured on the go just call Mo, Orlando's injury attorneys. This year full of real radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free i Heart Radio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. There's only one place to watch this nonsense. At Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We appreciate that. A lot of app options out there. I'm glad you chose us. Uh, you can watch us do our thing with Daryl Payne in studio. YouTube, that's easy to find. JimColbertLive.com. Click right through while you're there. Checking us out and enjoying the entertainment. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe. Helps us out quite a bit. Doesn't cost you anything. And it's a big help. Thank you very much. I am Jim. There is Deb. Hello. Jack is here as well. Hi there. You guys good and loud for our friend from Paw Fetch and Dog Training, Mr. Daryl Payne. Yay! DP in the house. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, good. Yeah, just off that big cruise ship we were talking about a little bit, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now absolutely. that's the icon, which is currently the biggest one in the world. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the next, well, the, the next one is the star coming out, and that is the same size. Yeah, yeah. Because um, they had that oceany, oceany, o- oceanic class, or it's all the different classes or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a different ship completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. It's right. incredible. And it, it, I don't know. It's going to be difficult going back to the, uh, the yeah, older yeah. ships now. <laughs> That's right. Totally spoiled. I guess it was the, uh, the plan. But. Let's do Animal House. She likes them fuzzy, furry, feathery, tough, and scaly. It's time for Animal House with Deborah Roberts. And Animal House is generously brought to you each and every week by personal injury attorney Glenn Klausman of Klausman Law. We'll tell you how you can get in touch with Glenn at the end of Animal House. But right now, let's get to uh, hearing more about his difficulty getting back to the smaller boats. Daryl Payne of Pop Fetch and Dogs you're worthy of two Woo-hoo. rounds of applause. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I, I messed that up. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm on Ozempic. 
Uh, you are on Ozempic. I am on Ozempic, yeah. Really? Yeah. You're like I'm, wasting away in front no, of us. No, actually I'm not. I think I'm a medical mir- a miracle because I'm putting weight on. Oh, geez. Are you really? Yeah. How, how does that work? I don't this know. This is like $1,000 a month and I'm putting weight on. <laughs> how does that work? Yeah. Well, apparently I did read it up. Does I read it? up on it and it's, it's doing great for my blood sugar, but if you are... Uh, type two, 2 diabetic, you can actually put weight on with it and not lose it. Really? Oh. So there's, a, but it's sorted my blood sugar out. So you know, I can't moan. I just it's have the, to exercise more. It's the anti miracle drug for you. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, <laughs> uh, I'm I'm buying smaller clothes, thinking they uh, yeah, <laughs> skinny me in, in July. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. I, I went through that. I got I got ahead of myself a little bit. I was like, you know what? I feel like a large these days. Yeah. So and, I'm uh, gonna I, have, I'm gonna have a garage sale on smaller clothes oh, yeah, yeah. outside my house. And... I put my large shirt on, and you can count my chest hairs from across. <laughs> the room it's so skinny it's like wearing saran it's, it's, it's so effing tight yeah lucky it's so cheap eh? yeah, yeah. yeah so. <laughs> right yeah. so uh obviously you are here to help us out with some i say help us out our listeners here yeah. uh, paw affection dog training you've been uh, training animals dogs specifically for how many years in your life oh goodness um probably coming up 35 30 years. years 35 so, years well i trained and handled police dogs for many years and we started we started actually the the pet dog training in England before we came here, yeah. and then restarted it here again. So actually, we um, it, it's moving on. Actually, we just yesterday had a meeting, and we're we're starting a charity arm of the business. Uh, so we're we're starting a non for profit, which is going to be supplying um, service dogs for military and first responder personnel who have been injured on duty mentally or physically who can't afford a, a dog so we're working in with the va um and the law enforcement and the the fire service and that kind of stuff this is after um, the fact to give them like a comfort animal type thing yeah if yeah, they yeah. need it for ptsd or for a physical disability um i mean we've been doing charity work for for years um it's just we thought okay listen we can we can expand this um because we can't take donations as a for-profit so we're going to expand it, become an, um, that part of it's going to be a non-profit. The other's still for profit, but that part will be a non-profit. Um, but we can do an awful lot of good for the communities. We're going to be supplying police dogs with uh, body armor, veterans with with dogs. Um, it's it, it, huge possibilities, and it's something we really enjoy doing that community side of things. Um, so that's that's coming up soon. So you know we've got a therapy course coming up. If yeah. anyone wants to, yeah, yeah, you know, train a therapy dog. We got one coming up in May. If anyone wants it, that's awesome. Uh, and we'll tell you how to find out more about that yeah, a little absolutely. bit later. Yeah. I do want to ask you something because I had somebody give me a dog training tip the other day. That's always dangerous. Isn't and it? I, <laughs> I'd never heard it, and I, I was like, well, I'm going to put this way in the old in the back of my brain. So that when I talk to Daryl, I can ask him that this is actual. Now, a lot of the questions we get, by the way, you're welcome to ask anything you want. 407-916-1041. We have people calling in now. So we'll take those calls here in just a couple of seconds. But here was what they were saying. Because one of the calls we get or one of the complaints we get is, my dog jump jumps up on people. Yeah. Right. How do I keep my dog from jumping up on people? Well, my son has a Staffordshire Terrier, right, that looks like uh, the Petey dog from the uh, – from the hour gang, like the, the little yeah. rascals, yeah, little rascals dog. It's a kind of a bulldog, kind of not, but you know, very cool dog, very sweet dog, not aggressive or anything. But he doesn't, you know, he he will just kind of jump up a little bit, and he's not really bad about it until you your first encounter. He'll put his paws, try to pull it, put his paws up on your chest or stomach or whatever, and he's probably about mm, I don't know, probably about seventy five pounds, eighty pounds, yeah. whatever. Um, and one of the people who was you know a, a friend of ours was around the other day, and he goes. There's, this is how you stop him from doing that. If your dog jumps up on you, grab his paws or his legs like that and hold them until he pulls away, he or she pulls away, and then let go. Eventually, they don't like it. He said they don't like it when you hold when you hold their legs, and if you hold them while they're trying to pull away, they will learn that you're going to do that every time you jump on them, and they'll stop jumping on you. Is that accurate? Right. Well, so it works. Uh, the the premise of it is that there's a consequence to it. Right. You know, it's strange because I, I was in a store a little while ago in my shirt with a dog trainer on it and stuff, and someone came up and went, oh, you're a dog trainer, are you? I said, I am. He said, you know how to stop a dog jumping up, don't you? And I said, actually, yeah, I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> he was going to tell and, you. And he walked away. Um, <laughs> but it's the, the premise is right. The application is wrong. It's a bit like people will tell you when the dog jumps up, knee them in the chest. Oh you know, they, don't, they don't like that either. <laughs> um, or, you know, I've heard the, the poor one before, um, but I've heard it with 
hold it and then squeeze the paws. You know, Ow. we don't want to hurt the dogs. No, yeah, this you know, was not it, meant to hurt the dog. It no. was just to teach the dog that if the dog jumps up again, it was gonna you know, you were yeah. gonna hold its feet, which apparently they hate. I did not know. Yeah, they do. What we don't want is we don't want them to be afraid of people. We don't want to be afraid of, of you, especially the owners. Um, holding the feet, the problem with that is that they're delicate little bones in those feet and it, it will knock them off balance as well. So as you grab the feet, if they try and get away, they, you can injure them or they right, can yeah, injure yeah. themselves. Yeah, this dog um, is not delicate. This is, yeah. a, this is a dumb dog. Well, and also you've got dogs that don't like to be challenged in that way who oh, will really? bite you in the face. Really? And you don't want that either. No, you do not. So really <laughs> what you want is when a dog jumps up, there has to be a consequence. But something like a noise or if you had like a little water gun or something like that, something where they don't know where it's coming from. It's not coming from you effectively, yeah, yeah. but it is um, a consequence to that action. And then they'll stop that. So it's the same premise, but without the physical grabbing. I, I have learned that dogs do not like uh, specific noises. And I mean, d when I say don't like them, like last night my wife and I were having dinner. I had a, a glass of wine, and on the table I was just kind of swirling the wine, but I was moving the glass, the bottom of the glass on yeah. the table, and it made this kind of odd sound of the glass scraping against the table. Not a high pitch or anything, and man, our little dog hated it got yeah. down and started growling at the at the wine glass so they associated that yeah. noise with the glass not yeah, and that's the thing you need to find out what your dog doesn't like is in, in so, so far as as noises and that kind of thing and use that penny doesn't like nails on a chalkboard so right. you know i'll do that as distraction or oh, when you scrape, you know, you scrape the, the plate with a fork. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, she hates that. That's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I do it all do the that? time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Or, but it, that's what that's what correction comes from. It comes from uh, a consequence to action, yeah, yeah. but something that doesn't make the dog afraid of you, something that isn't physical all right. and painful. All right, let's take a couple of these calls because we do have them. We'll slide to break and load them up during that and then take some more. Yep. But I know that right now is allergy season. We did have a lot of people asking about their dogs licking their paws. Yeah. And I know that uh, some dogs are very aller uh, uh, allergic to you know, the same things that we're kind of allergic to. And I noticed that our dogs were also licking their paws a little bit this uh, this week. Is is that accurate or not? It is. It's not just that, though. But remember, about now, we they start to put treatments on the grass, that kind of thing. So often it's chemicals and things like that. It's not just allergens. Um, oh, wow. I mean, if you get your dog allergy tested, it's going to be, a, you know, allergic to everything. Right, right, right. You know, you, how, how the dog tests. exists in the world is a miracle. <laughs> so, you know, but a lot of dogs do have grass allergies. Yeah, yeah. But I think a lot of the time, this time of year, a lot of it is chemicals they put on the grass yeah, yeah. Um, as well. So, All right, 407-916-1041. Let's go to uh, Jonna. Jonna, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Good. I have a question. I have a lab mix, and every time it thunders really bad, and I know a lot of dogs are scared of thunder, but my dog starts to tear up the house. So, I, I mean, he pulls down the curtains. He tries to get out the doors. He bites the windowsills. He, he tears the house apart. What can I do? Because when I'm not home, I, there's nothing I can do. And what can I do to try to ease him with big, loud noises? Do you have any fentanyl? <laughs> I, I have volume. I, I got that. Uh, Daryl? It, it, well, it's difficult because, yes, they are. They are afraid of, or oh, a lot of dogs are afraid of thunder. Um, as a preventative measure, often um, as a puppy, you can desensitize them, and you can start to do that with your dog, even even though it's older. Um, if you can download some thunder noises and things, and just play them low, um, and slowly build it up, just to desensitize the sound. Um, there's no okay. easy answer to this, and it's very difficult if it's only you know when you're out because you either have to leave the dog in a crate somewhere, um, you know, perhaps in a bedroom with some music on, which will dull it if there's going to be a thunderstorm and of course we're coming to a season where we're going to have thunderstorms yeah, every yeah. every yeah. afternoon yeah, just show me uh, one that's moving yeah. in now so yeah so but i think in respect of what you're describing which sounds like a scene from jurassic park when they bring the uh, velociraptors yeah. in i think you've got to try and contain the dog somewhere where it can't hurt itself i've known dogs that have jumped out of windows and hurt themselves doing that yeah, yeah. in panic of getting out of it so it's going to be a combination of desensitizing the dog as much as you can through the season, it may even be worth speaking to your veterinarian and getting a mild sedative that you can give the dog when you are out, if you're out in the afternoons, just to take that edge off as well. Because I think you're into the realms of 
some some medication to help as yeah. well. Thanks, Shauna. We appreciate that very much. If you have a question for Daryl, you can ask it, 407-916-1041. We only have one line open. We're going to go to break, come back, and we'll hammer through these. Daryl Payne here from Paw Affection Dog Training, answering your questions about your dog's terrible behavior. We'll do that next. Real Radio is the monsters in the morning. Right, I'm, I'm sticking with Kit Kat being the universal <laughs> one. There's some people that don't like nuts for us, okay? I know you love nuts in your mouth when you eat stuff all the time, okay? Yeah. You're always asking, can I get more nuts I, in my I mouth? I need more nuts. The monsters in the morning. Real Radio 104.1. Still seeing slowdowns on I-4 this afternoon in the Orlando area, east and westbound by the major attractions exits. Looking at a crash northbound on OBT this afternoon that has the right lane blocked as you approach Clarkona Ocoee Road. Another crash blocking two left lanes westbound on Colonial Drive at Pine Hills Road. If you see other traffic problems today, make sure you call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit forthepeople.com for an office near you. Hey, everybody. Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. Time to be a hero. Tell your friends and family about Life Imaging FLA. And if you think that you have a family member or a close friend that could benefit from the scan at Life Imaging FLA, you probably should get them over there. My mother and my father-in-law went to Life Imaging FLA. They're in their early 60s. They were a little worried. And the great thing about this, guys, I'm telling you the number one thing. I was standing next to my wife when my mother-in-law called to tell her that her scan was clear, her heart was in great shape, and you could legit hear the relief in her voice over the phone. It is that valuable to you. You don't take off your clothes or no injection, no dyes. This only takes a few minutes. Do not wait. Do exactly what I did, what my mother-in-law and father-in-law did, and hundreds of Central Floridians are doing. Call Life Imaging FLA right now. Get that free heart scan. Just a few minimum requirements. It is a $699 value while you're there. Ask about the cancer screening as well. Couldn't be easier to make your appointment. It's this easy. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. That is it. Pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make 2024 the year you take control of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iHeart Media. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla Aprenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. The Golden State Warriors are making the cross-country trip to face off your Orlando Magic on Wednesday, March 27th. It's the Warriors' only visit to Kia Center this season, so don't miss out. Get your tickets today at orlandomagic.com. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. As we wonder why school shootings keep happening, someone is lashing out at loved ones. As we argue about legislation, someone is posting threats on social media. As we continue to mourn the loss of innocent lives, someone is planning the death of more. 
Knowing the signs is the best way to prevent gun violence. Learn the signs at sandyhookpromise.org. What sets International Diamond Center apart from those big box jewelry chain stores? The problem with big chain stores is that they're all run by corporate. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. That means the people at the store level just plain don't care much. At IDC, you're not dealing with a bunch of retail clerks. You're working with a true jewelry professional who's not on commission and not beholden to a bunch of corporate dictated rules and policies. When you're in the big corporate world, everybody operates out of a manual or a big book of rules. At IDC, we don't have a manual telling our people how to deal with customers. We empower our people to take care of those customers in the way they would want to be taken care of. Get the respect, guidance, professionalism, and genuine care you deserve from people who put you first. We tell them point blank, do whatever it takes to make the customer happy, period. International Diamond Center, locally owned, internationally connected. We want them to take care of you, protect you, and make it the best experience that you could possibly have. International Diamond Center, for. Orlando locations and always at shopidc.com. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. Here's how to avoid a top mistake in divorce. Text messages and social media posts can wind up in front of a judge. Act accordingly. Don't post like a fool. Divorce? Trendley Kramer Law. TK Law. One firm for life. Are your energy costs through the roof? Call the company that has been in business for 20 years. FAS is now offering $500 off any window and or door project. A plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS or visit us at FASWD.com. We are also having a giveaway of $20,000 in window and doors with no purchase necessary. To enter for the giveaway, go to FASWD.com slash giveaway. That's FASWD.com slash giveaway. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. The Jim Colbert Show. Streaming live on YouTube. Watch us talk. It's this kind of text that I like. Mark and Oviedo got my free heart scan. Both my wife and I totally clear. Thank you so much. That's just how easy it is. Thank Mark. We appreciate that. And we're happy for you that you and your wife are in good health. You know what they're going to do? Sleep well. Yeah, they're going to sleep really well tonight. All right, 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is right there. Hello. Jack is right there. Yep. Daryl Payne is here from Paw Fiction Dog Training. We're continuing our only dual segment animal house of the month. Uh, Daryl's kind enough to come in and sit and take some questions from you guys regarding your animal's behavior. Uh, by the way, we ha we don't talk about brisket much, or is it biscuit? It's brisket. Brisket. That's the dog that you gave your mom a couple years ago. Yep. That How's was he your doing? Christmas present. He's good. He's good. His nickname is Side of Beef. <laughs> uh, but he's a jumper, and not only is he a jumper, but he's a nipper. Oh, was he? Yeah. So he'll jump up, and he always perfectly grabs just that tiniest bit of thigh flesh. I hear if you knee him, it really <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, That's how I was taught with my first Goldens, that you don't yeah. knee him, you just put your knee you up. You put your but, knee uh, out, then it just makes it awkward yeah. for them, and they slide down your legs. <laughs> well, I've got be better methods than that. Call me up. I can, I can fix these things. Right, whatever. I'll charge half the price. Then you won't right. look like an Irish dancer. All right, let's get to these calls here. <laughs> hey, me. Melody, welcome to the show. Thanks for holding through the break. We appreciate that greatly. Got a question for Daryl? Yes, thank you, everybody. Um, I've got a wonderful little seven-month-old Yorkie ter or Chihuahua, mostly Chihuahua. Um, she's just passed classes, being able to sit, stay down, that kind of thing. But my problem is mostly during the evening or in the morning time, she likes to nip. I mean, she'll, she'll do, like, pretend nipping like she thinks she's loving on you, but then she can get really hard biting on your fingers. And other than that, she's got a wonderful personality, and she loves people. But I just can't get that don't bite, don't bite thing down. 
you know, you don't often hear the word wonderful chihuahua and Yorkie in the same <laughs> sentence. Never, never I know. <laughs> I am so very lucky. I'm very, very fortunate. Yeah, you sound super lucky to have a dog that only bites you occasionally. <laughs> well, you've, you've, got a, you've got a teenager. That's what you've got. You're seven months old, they turn into a teenager. They push the boundaries. Um, and what's happening first thing in the morning? You know, she's bored. She's looking for attention. This is attention-seeking. She's not trying. She's not being mean. Uh, but she is bored. What I would suggest you do is, you know, um, first thing in the morning, give her something else to do because clearly she's bored. So, you know, things like um, a little, if she likes treats, there's a thing called a Buster Cube you can get on Amazon, which is you put treats in there, there's a maze inside it. It lasts about two hours. That will keep her busy. Um, there's a thing called a green feeder. So the ones that are too lazy for the Buster Cube, you put that down. It's a slow feed dish, um, but it's uh, it's easier than the Buster Cube. So give her little things to do and to play with. You can put a bungee cord, hang that from a doorway with a toy on the end and let her play tug of war with that on her own. Oh. We don't play tug of war with our dogs because it creates problems, but you can hang one in a doorway um, and let her play with that. She's just bored and she's trying to make you the toy. Yeah. Um, so okay. if you give her, give her things to do, um, if it continues and and the nipping continues um, and it's more of an active dominance problem, then give us a call. We'll come round. It's something we fix all the time. And remember, it, we only it only takes one session. We give you a lifetime of support with it. We can fix that for you in no time at all. Yeah, thanks, Melody. We appreciate that very much. Uh, let's move on to Mark here. There's also been a hold for a little bit. Mark, thanks for holding. We appreciate that. You're on with Daryl Payne. Hey, Daryl. Uh, got a six-year-old Boston male. Is there any way to make him hike his leg further so he doesn't pee all over his stomach? Oh, my God almighty. <laughs> and buddy, in all the years that I've been doing this with Daryl, I've never heard that one yet. <laughs> Daryl, what do you got for the I fat dog? Well, How about <laughs> calinetics? How about the, or Pilates? Maybe yeah. the, no, there, there is no way of getting him to raise his, his leg higher. They do what they do. Uh, my son's dog will squat. He doesn't lift his leg at all. And the position of it is that he always pees on his front legs, um, <laughs> <laughs> which is really annoying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my German Shepherd, my police dog, um, he never lifted his leg. He lifted it once, actually, and fell over and never lifted it again. <laughs> um, he looked, if you've ever seen a German Shepherd look embarrassed. Are, are you sure that was the dog, Daryl? <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks, Mark. So, we appreciate it very much. So, yeah, no, there's no way of fixing that, unfortunately. <laughs> You're just going to have to get some wet wipes, dog. That's all it is. So wait a yeah. minute. You had one police dog that... I would laugh so hard. I think it would... Well... He <laughs> lifted his leg once, fell over, and yeah, that was he lift it? Yeah, he lifted it against a tree, and he was on kind of a slope, and he fell over. <laughs> God, that's the uh, greatest. Yeah, well, I'm, see, it's not as bad as my bomb dog. My, my Labrador... Um, wasn't well in Buckingham Palace, and he pooped in the palace. Oh, I was just about to ask yeah. you that. You've had some really good police Ooh, dog yeah. experience. I already have, yeah. A All fresh right. one right there in Buckingham, <laughs> huh? All right, 407-916-1041. Uh, text us, 77031. <laughs> hey, Kim, how you doing? Welcome to the show. You're on with Daryl Payne from Paw Action Dog Training. Hey, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Daryl, I think I'm probably going to have to call you but and set up something. But I've got two pit, or excuse me, three pit bulls. I have a little bit of mix in there. Two boys and a girl. This girl has just taken over, and they are all of a sudden now not getting along at all. And she's great with people, um, but she's very protective of my husband and I, protective of the bedroom, protective of her food. And we just had a big fight about a week ago, and we had to take them in and get the tubes put in, and it's just been horrible. Well, yeah. Kim, Kim I, you're, you're, I just, your, 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 your phone's a little loud. I'm going to hang up. Listen to Daryl on the air, honey. Yeah, it, you are going to need to call us. Um, the, the pack dynamic has changed in your house. Um, and where the female has come in, and you've probably heard me say this a few times on, on the show, uh, a female will always dominate a male, uh, which Penny says is the right way of the universe. <laughs> the way God intended it, Daryl. But we, but Penny, we, don't, we don't listen to her. Just Penny relax. being your wife, of course. Penny right? being my wife. Well, my wife of 28 years. Yeah. Let it happen. Um, so, yeah, the, the females come in and she's taken over. She's trying to um, dominate the two males who, you know, perhaps aren't too keen at the moment of doing what they're told by her. So there's conflict there. And, of course, that wouldn't be such a problem if they were smaller dogs. But when you've got um, dogs with the power they possess, um, you yeah, know, this is why you're having tubes put in. So we do need to fix that. Uh, we need to bring her down a few pegs, and it's something which, um, yeah, I need to come over and fix that for you. Yeah, that is odd. It would it would seem like that's a that's a 
that's a natural instinctual thing. Like that yeah. seems to be like DNA driven more than like behavioral driven. So I would think those uh, particular issues would be the most difficult to you know to kind of train out. Yeah. Is, is there one that's more difficult than the other? I mean, I mean, yeah, because anything that is in their DNA, anything, you know, it, what you're doing there, you're taming nature, and that's, it's difficult to try and tame 55 right. million years of wild. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, Some other things, you know, boredom, you know, overexcitement, stuff like that, is that's a lot manageable. easier. Yeah, but yeah. When, when you're dealing with things like a female wanted to dominate the male, um, that's fine if he'll put up with it, but if right. he doesn't, then we have to we have to fix that. All right, 407-916-1041. Do have a couple lines open for Daryl in about 10 minutes left. You want to grab one of those? Let's go to Craig. Craig, how you doing? You're on with Daryl Payne from Paw Fiction Dog Training. Good, good. How you doing, guys? Hey, I have a five-month-old golden doodle. Um, he'll be six months next, next week. And we've been potty training him through the crate training. He's been doing great, but he's still having accidents here and there. Are my expectations too high as far as he should be potty trained, be done, and or it just just takes time and different dogs are different um, as far as potty train. So there's still puppies. Yeah, I think I think all dogs are different. So you'll get some dogs that are potty trained very quickly, um, and they just get mm-hmm. it. And it depends on the circumstances at home as well. Some some circumstances favour um, a faster. Um, result than others um so it does depend on the dog um i think perhaps your expectations are a little high then with your dog um six months is still very young yeah i mean they've only just got all their teeth to be honest with you um and i think probably if if he's having accidents in the house um i think really we've probably given him too much house the more house you give a dog the more problems there's going to be so you need to contain him more when he's not supervised Think also that six months they're starting. That's where we start to see is the it, problems with lifting their leg for dominance. So, six months or like six that. weeks? Okay. Did I hear that? Is six, it six months. months? I think is it, so. is six it, months. It, yeah. yeah. Six months. Yeah. 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 So I think probably yeah, six months. Yeah. Rest, yeah. Restrict him more when he's trained. not. He's crate trained. I mean, he does. We use a crate. He, he goes in a crate, comes out, goes straight outside. Uh, we have the word potty. Go potty. He goes out. He's great. Um, and. When he's playing and he's done playing, oh, potty time. But yeah. every now and then he'll sneak off. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. when we find him, it's like, oh, oh God, yeah. so we so were they, done you, with it. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you've, you've answered your own question there in the respect of he sneaks off. Thanks, Craig. He shouldn't be allowed to sneak off. He should be in an area where you can uh, monitor him. And, right, and right. sort of advice for everybody, when a puppy especially has been doing anything, um, playing, sleeping, when it's been otherwise occupied, as soon as that activity finishes – straight outside because the body goes into a default mode that's when they're going to pee and the more accidents they have the more it triggers more accidents because right. they smell that pee on the floor no matter how much you try to clean it um they smell it and it triggers them to go yeah, again yeah. it's like you know when they're looking on the grass for the perfect spot to pee or poop right right that's what they're doing in your house it's like with me yep. with cocaine it's just <laughs> wherever it's been in the house i'm gonna find it uh 407-916-1041 abby how you doing abby welcome to the show and welcome to daryl Payne from dog paw fiction dog training yes i love the show anyways um my dog he likes to dig in the ground everywhere and now he's dug all the way down to the sprinkler pipes and I don't know how to stop him from digging. He has, like, three little spots in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. He's an inside dog, but he's outside, and so he doesn't dig everywhere or tear up the backyard. We have him – We have. A, um, he's tied in the back, but he has a lot of room to go around. But he just keeps digging holes. I don't know if it's a stress thing. No, I'll tell or... you exactly. You've, you've actually answered it yourself, Abby. Um, it's the sprinklers. He, dogs can hear the water under the ground going through the pipes. And okay. it's interesting for them because they've got really good hearing. They've got terrible eyesight, but they've got really yeah, good I have hearing. A German Shepherd. <laughs> oh yeah. And, and so what he's hearing is he's hearing that. And if he's tied out there, he's limited in what he can do. Um, so he's making entertainment for himself. He's exploring the sounds that he's hearing. Now he's digging down and he's actually found the um, the source of them. So what I would do with him is section off a part of your back garden and fence that off as a dog run area, and then in the corner there or somewhere in there. Put a dig pit in there, something which, um, you know, some railway sleepers or something like that where you can fill it with sand, put some toys in there and 
and let him dig in that for things like his toys and stuff like that. So yeah. give him somewhere he can dig. Maybe hang a bungee outside there for him to play with. Give him things to do out there, but keep him away from the irrigation yeah. as far as possible because that's why it's happening. Thanks, Abby. We appreciate that. Does your dog dig up drain fields? Yeah. Because uh, if so, <laughs> I've got some work for him. Let's get to it. we got a lot of people here to ask. Well, you had a one from the texting service. I did. did you know? I did. I, uh, did she say he leaves some, she leaves the shepherd out there all day? Not the shepherd. Well, that... That particular dog, he's, he's tied out there. So. Oh, okay. Uh, texting service at 77031. Daryl, is it ever too late to correct barking behavior? My dog is six years old. I've had him since he was six weeks old. But right after they got him, they had a family emergency. The dog was left in an eight-foot caged area nine to ten hours a day for several weeks. After that, they were attacked by a Great Dane that kept charging at them. Ever since, the dog barks at every dog, as well as dogs on television. Is there any hope? Oh, wow. yeah, absolutely. Six is, six is no age. Um, to be honest, it starts to get difficult when they get to about 12. Um, because by then they're losing their hearing. They're, yeah, yeah. You know, they're, they're old men and old women by then, and you know it's they're hard cranky. to change that. But six is is no age at all, and it's something we deal with all the time. Um, yeah, call us. We'll fix yeah, yeah. that for you. Right. Yeah. 407-916-1041. Hey, Joe, how you doing? You're on with Daryl Payne from Paw Affection Dog Training. Hey, how you doing? Good. Um, real quick. Okay, my dog is eight months old. She was having massive separation anxiety for me. So I decided to put her in three days in a doggy daycare. Now when I'm at the doggy daycare and I drop her off, she seems to want to get out of her jacket even before I even walk out the door. Is that a bad sign for the daycare or is that still her having separation anxiety? That's a great question. Are you you talking about coming out of the daycare, she's trying to get out of her jacket or going in? Going in. Right, so she's, she's trying to get into the daycare no, no, no. I think she's yeah, asking. So, is, yeah, no, but, I'm, I'm dropping her off. Yeah. And she's trying to, she's trying to get out of her jacket, trying to get back to me. Yeah. Oh right, okay, yeah, I'll get you now. Um, it's not a bad sign. She, she would rather be with you than the daycare. It's not necessarily an indication that she hates the daycare. Um, or that she loves you. <laughs> it's just that she, she would rather be with you than be at the daycare. But it's you know, um, have a chat with her. I don't know if it's one of these places that's got cameras. You'll probably find that once she gets in there and she's playing with the other dog, she's absolutely fine. It was like when I took my kids to kindergarten for the first time and I got their little squashed face against the window, <laughs> you know, screaming and crying. Um, I knew they really didn't want to be with me, but you know, I'm the lesser of two evils, clearly. I, I think. <laughs> is this a good idea to put her in daycare for separation anxiety, or is this just going to make it worse? Um, it's not going to make it worse. Um, it's a good idea for the socialization aspect, and also it wears her out and tires her out. Think about the fact if you didn't put her in daycare, she's going to be at home um, anxious anyway. So it's not a bad thing to have her in there a couple of days a week. But I think we need to fix the problem itself of the separation anxiety. So if, if this isn't fixing it, we have to fix that problem too. Otherwise, the daycare is a Band-Aid on an arterial bleed. Yeah, yeah, which is so, not good. So we need to fix the behavioural problem, which is why she's got the separation anxiety, get on top, top of that problem, and then move on from there. And it might be that she doesn't need to go to daycare quite as much. You know, daycare is a short-term fix for separation anxiety in that it removes the dog from that area where it's going to damage things. But yeah. give us a call and we'll, we'll get to the bottom of that problem for you. Thanks, Joe. You know, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's good news because uh, I know a lot of people have those situa- situations. They love their animals. They don't want to have a big problem with them, but, you know, they want them to be around. All right, 407-916-1041. Got a couple quick ones here, buddy. All right, let's make these quick, and we'll, yeah. we'll power these two in. Brenda, you're on with Daryl Payne. You got a question? Hey, guys. They're, uh, really quick, I have a 4-year-old Aussie, a 5-year-old Aussie, their brother and sister, and a lab hound rescue. That's seven. So all of them are great dogs, very lovable never aggressive except for my youngest australian shepherd he's the only male if somebody knocks on that door or comes through my door even my husband or me he barks like he's going to rip your face off and he barges towards the person and i say don't back up he'll be fine just pet him and in two minutes He's Velcro dog with them, loving on them. Is he blind, deaf? I don't know what's going on with him. <laughs> no, he's, right, he's just listen up. He looks, he, looks, he looks back at the other dogs and gets mad if they try to get in front of him. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. Thanks, sir. 
So two things going on very quickly. First, he's overprotective. He's taken on a, too much of a, of a protective role there. He's the big, uh, big guns in the house. Um, he's trying to show you that he's not going to let anyone in. Um, he's not as brave as he thinks because once the person's in, you know, he, he capitulates and it's okay. I just, okay, fine. You'll be my friend then. Um, <laughs> and um, having a go at the other two dogs, that's redirected aggression where the adrenaline's running in him. Um, he's lost his mind because of the barking and everything else. Um, and they lash out at anything. It can be the other dog. It can be the human owners. Um, so you've got two things going on there, both of which I can fix for you in a two hour session. Um, and I can guarantee you at the at the end of, of that session, he won't be barking, lunging at the door, and everything will be peaceful and yeah. calm. All right, here we go. One last one. Eddie, how you doing, buddy? Quickly. Hey, good. Hey, Nero. Hey, uh, uh, five-year-old rescue. He's 81 pounds. He's a beautiful dog. He's a good dog. He's dog-friendly, people-friendly. But I have one issue. When I walk him on a leash, if he sees another dog, he's almost impossible to control. Right. Uh, I'm going to hang up with you, listen to the radio, and he'll give you your answer. Okay, so it's going to be one of two things. If he's not aggressive with dogs normally, then it's probably going to be overexcitement that he wants to get to that dog. If the only thing that's going wrong with him is that leash walking, come along to our group training sessions in Oviedo, and we'll get that fixed for you. He'll be around other dogs, so it will desensitize him from being around them, so it's not so exciting when he sees a dog out on a leash, and we'll teach you the leash skills that you need to stop that yeah. uh, that lunging and switch him off. Yeah, my little one likes doing that. And the only scary thing is I don't want the other dog to react adversely and hurt her. But yeah. she's also very curious at other dogs, and she just wants to play. Yeah. You know, that's the whole thing. How do people find you to book that appointment? Um, if you want to give us a call, 407-456-1066, 1066 uh, Go onto the website, perfectiondogtraining.com. Join our Facebook uh, Facebook page, Perfection Dog Training at USA Members page. Uh, just in the questions, put 1041, um, and that's a family community there with uh, with a lot of stuff on there. Um, yeah, just give us a call. We can we can yep. fix things. We give you a lifetime support with it. Um, you know, you're not going to be spending thousands and thousands of dollars sending the dog away or anything like that. It's yeah, we get it fixed for you. Yeah, and of course, I'll be uh, posting the Animal House podcast. So if you missed any of the questions or answers or the contact info for Daryl and Penny at Perfection Dog Training, I'll be taking care of that later on. Absolutely. Gentlemen, please join me in thanking Daryl. Thank you. And as always, uh, Animal House is brought to you by Glenn Klausman of Klausman Law. So if you know anyone, including yourself, who's been in any kind of an accident, car, truck, motorcycle, even a slip and fall, here's just a couple of reasons why you need to call Glenn at Klausman Law. One, he never passes you off to a caseworker. Glenn is going to personally handle your case so much so, he's going to give you his personal cell phone number and then pick it up when you call. Just a couple of reasons why year after year he's voted super lawyer and legal elite. He's also an animal lover and a true friend of the show so if you've been in an accident give them a call 407-917-1718 or check them out online at clausmanlaw.com that's k-l-a-u-s-m-a-n law.com thanks deb daryl is always great seeing you buddy thanks yeah, for the thanks great for advice me. the listeners thanks, love Darryl. you and again if you have any issues with your dogs paw affection dog training find them on facebook make this appointment and the cool thing about making an appointment with daryl is once you have your animal with him he will always be able to answer questions and uh, that is just part of the initial fee oh we we were calling people from the middle of the uh, the sea on the cruise <laughs> oh, very good. answering their questions. So we all, we'll always get back. All right, we'll see you in a little bit there for sure. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. You text us at 77031, and we say it on the air. Sometimes we might even give you credit. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35, Storm Team Meteorologist Ian Cassette with your Central Florida forecast. Rain lingers here through this evening, then tapers off overnight. We'll see a low around 69 degrees with another opportunity for rain as our system exits for tomorrow morning. Showers and storms will be possible through the morning hours on Thursday into the afternoon. Skies will clear and we'll see increasing sunshine. It'll be breezy with gusts up to 25 to 30 miles per hour with a high of 79 degrees. Lots of sunshine through the rest of the weekend into Easter weekend. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Ian Cassette.
This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America, fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Tools Ace Hardware carries the best brands and grills out there. Weber, you know them. Big Green Egg, of course you've heard of them. Traeger, Napoleon, those are the pros. That's what they use. They also have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney. By the way, let me stop you real quick. Not just for pizzas. Those things make a damn good steak. Everybody needs a good place to sit. Hollywood Furniture can do that for you. Indestructible will not fade in this Florida sun. They also have service tech specializing in grills to help you with any repairs or warranty issues. Plus, you can get free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, three ninety nine and up. It's Tools Ace Hardware. You know these guys. 13 convenient locations here in Central Florida, including that new store in Hamlin. Or you can just shop online at acehardware.com and get that free in-store picture up or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. Tax time means a much needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi and Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's RC rchill.com credit requires bank approval see rchill.com for details the free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now like lost 80s playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s Gotta get back in Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. Fine. What's your problem, then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-canceling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose, and repair your electric panel and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit, 800-522-5700. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show, also available to watch yeah. at The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Woo. Deb and Jack of the Jack Jar. It's Austin. 
When it comes to Diddy Combs, I can't wait to see what comes from his videographer, as he uh, not only was abused, uh, allegedly, uh, but he also said Diddy used him to video a lot of the abuse, and if anybody's going to have receipts, it's going to be the videographer. Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah, but I got to tell you, uh, he was pacing outside of an area in South Florida, and it did not look like he was resting easy. I, I think that he kind of knows that maybe it's going to be bad news for him, and like uh, 50 Cent said, the feds don't send in 40 people uh, from different agencies because they think they have a case. Chances are they know there's something that's going to be in that house that's going to be it, damning, so we'll find just- out soon hubris and money yeah, yeah. that just you know, i mean it's just the same thing when you just get away with it for so many years you yeah. just expect to get away with it and and by the yeah. way there are a number of other very famous people that just i from behind the scenes in my little radio show here in orlando just happening to know a few people who are connected to some other people know of at least two other gigantic names in the entertainment industry that have had a lot of this in their past and one of them is is you know one of them is, you know, it's it, it's no joke. I mean, th- this person is, you know, incredibly powerful and famous and extremely rich. And uh, there have been rumors of that person having. Um, situ- you, you say Tom Hanks, we're throwing down. No, no, no. It's not all Tom right, Hanks for right. sure. All right. 407 916 1041. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is right there. Hello. And Jack is here as well. Ah. I think that was one of Daryl's best performances here on the program. Yeah, we took a lot of calls. We usually don't get to that many uh, because, you know, some of these things are very isolated and some of the answers are a little bit more complicated. Uh, but we took a bunch of calls in, and a lot of people are saying that, matter of fact, one person said, Daryl came to train my uh, my six-year-old wild run-out-the-door puppy, uh, coon hound, and now the best dog ever. Thanks, Daryl. Appreciate that. We hear that over and over. He is the premier dog trainer in Central Florida. About 10 years, oh, maybe even longer. Oh, my God, I've known him that long. All right, yeah, about 12 years ago or so, Daryl came to my house uh, for Jeter and, uh, you know, about barking at the door and stuff. One session, trained him. Basically, it's training the human how to handle the situation, and then that fixes the situation. Exactly, that's right, right. They are, basically, you are getting trained, uh, and the dog just kind of learns from you. By the way, shout out to Jeter Dog, turns 15 today. Happy birthday. All right, 407 916 1041. So I told you guys there was going to be a couple people here in Florida trying to set a Guinness World Record. Let's see if you guys can guess what it is. It's two women. They're from Tampa. They're both 29 years old. All right. And I'll just say it's a distance thing, but it's it's how they're getting there that makes a difference. Swimming. No. Unicycle. They're trying to they're trying to go 500 miles. It's what they're using to to, to cover that 500 miles that makes it a world record. Barbie car. That's exactly the answer. Oh, Is it really? Yeah. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. No, back up. Back. No. Haven't no. you ever dreamed of... Time hey. out. You, you, How did you guess Barbie car? Because... You read I, the story? No. I remember a story years ago. I think it was... I won't say the college, but it was a, it was a Florida college student like up Tallahassee, Gainesville. Had a DUI. Need to get around campus. What did she use? Barbie car. Barbie car. <laughs> well, this... And ever since then, I thought, what a great <laughs> mode of transportation. All right, so check this out, right? So they want to go 500 miles. Now, they say toy car, uh, but yeah. it's basically one of those. It's toy... a Barbie car. It's basically a Barbie car. It's electric. It's an electric toy car that's meant for like a three or four or five-year-old, right? Oh, Everybody has fun. seen them. On Instagram, the favorite thing in the world is is when a little sister runs her brother right over. <laughs> yeah. That's my fa- one of my favorite videos ever. Uh, Cassie and Lauren. 29 years old are setting are trying to set the Guinness Book World Record for driving 500 miles in a toy car. How how far do you think they can go on a charge and how fast do you think the car goes? They've run into some issues by the way. They've had to restart this thing like three or four times. Um I'm guessing like uh 4 miles an hour. For how how far can they go on a single charge? Single charge, I'm guessing a mile. Okay. Yeah, I was going to go like two miles an hour. <laughs> it's actually a little better than that. Is it? Yeah, yeah. They can go 11 miles an hour, Ooh. and they can go 11 miles on a single charge. Well, that's not so bad. Not, See, Jack? Yeah. yeah. They're avoiding highways and busy roads, well, sticking good. to <laughs> sidewalks and bicycle lanes. <laughs> they chose the safest route. And here's the thing. You know, when you try to do this, and I've said before that, you know, doing these records is really complicated and kind of expensive because they have to send the route to Guinness, Guinness has to approve the route, 
And on top of that, they're running into some big problems because, of course, the cars aren't built to have even that weight. Even right. though you know, even if they're smaller, full-grown women, you're talking about they're used to having what thirty-five or forty pounds, right? Fifty exactly. pounds max. <laughs> I mean, you have a hundred and ten-pound woman. The bearings and the wheels are failing. The tires are failing. <laughs> it's, a oh, big, it's a big problem. And it says though that you have to. There's a, some certain things you have to do. They have to carry a logbook with them, and every time they stop, either for the to go to the bathroom or for whatever, ever, they have to take a photograph of it. They have to keep a GPS tag on the car so it doesn't show you, you know, packing the car up at night and driving forty miles or anything like that. Right. Every foot of this trip is logged into this book and logged on with uh, the Guinness guys. It's it's big deal. Try and get one of those Guinness records. They they've raised about three thousand oh, uh, dollars. It's going to take about ten grand, they think, to get through this. I don't even. It's a it's a Porsche lookalike, so it's a, a little bitty Porsche car hey. that's battery operated. Well, why not? Yeah, exactly. It says uh, they want to know why they don't modify the cars. You cannot do that. Apparently, the cars must remain stock. That's according to Guinness. Um, and it says if you see them. Uh, while they're driving around, give them a honk and a, <laughs> and, and a wave. So now, can they replace that car as long as the next car is exactly like off the shelf, you, like this car? You know, that's the funny thing. I I thought that very thing because I don't know how they're going to make this 500 mile journey. That doesn't sound like just the structure of this toy car it, is going to be able to withstand it. It 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 doesn't say that they can replace it here. It doesn't mention that they can't either. Uh, it says they just pack lots of uh, sunscreen and headlamps, umbrellas, <laughs> extra clothes in case they get rained on. Um, they take a picture of every stop, even if they just pull over to a gas station. Um, Making memories. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, again, they're raising money for animals uh, for animal rescue. Well, there you go. That's what they're doing. So I figured that would get you there. Stop the and give them a lemonade. <laughs> Don't be right. an animal. All right, 407-916-1041. Uh, <laughs> you can always text us at 77031. Uh, back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Slowdowns continue this afternoon on I-4 in the Orlando area for those taking the interstate east and westbound by the major attractions exits. A crash southbound on the turnpike is blocking at least two lanes on the toll road at the Osceola Parkway exit, causing stop-and-go delays back from the Greenway. Drivers can also expect a slow ride on the turnpike up by the Oakland Exchange exit near Winter Garden. If you run into traffic problems today, make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto insurance is for uncompromisers. With savings of up to 25%, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Savings based on discounts can vary. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Do you want to build or expand your business? That Mortgage Guy, Don, is your source for commercial and business loans, too. Don has the best rates on commercial loans and has over 1,000 five-star reviews. And he's got a great promotion now through the end of June. Do you have a high interest rate small business administration loan at 9, 10, or 11 percent? If you qualify and have paid on time for the past two years, Don can refinance your SBA loan at 8 and a quarter percent. That Mortgage Guy, Don, is the best place to go for for all of your business and residential loans. So don't miss the boat. Compare your quote at thatmortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with thatmortgageguydon.com. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, I heard media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else and we can give you access to those potential customers more cost-effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeartMedia can work for you. Get started today at iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill. 
located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now. Available at harryspoolside.com slash harrys sip and savor. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. I had a radio listener call me after an accident. The insurance company offered him $700. He hired me that day, and we recovered $100,000. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. Potential clients may not obtain same or similar results. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. We are connected internationally. We have relationships in the diamond industry that go back decades. Sources all over the world. International Diamond Center's owner Keith LeClaire explains how IDC always offers to beat anyone else's price on a diamond. We buy direct from the cutters, we pay cash, and we just don't believe in typical jewelry store markups. With his background as a wholesaler, Keith says IDC's business model is based on lower margins and higher volume. We're not here to sell you something for a quick buck. So it comes down to better sourcing and and low markups. That's why we guarantee the best value price. If you're buying a diamond, engagement ring, or any fashion jewelry, come experience a refreshing alternative to the typical jewelry experience at IDC. We're here to offer the right price on every piece of jewelry that you buy from IDC. Real value from real people. We'd rather make a little bit and keep you as a customer than make a lot of it and lose you as a customer. International Diamond Center, all four Orlando locations, and online shopidc.com. In this edition of the Marketer's Report, Angela Zapeta, Chief Marketing Officer of Hyundai Motor America, discusses measuring audio. The measurement capability with an audio, I think, surprised all of us, but all of it's been extremely helpful and we have seen a huge return on our investment. The methodology by which we're approaching audio and then seeing the real results with real numbers has helped us continue to invest moving forward. One of the things that's been really important for us is to see the extension of reach to new audiences that we could not really speak to before. Uh, we get about a 20% lift adding audio to our overall portfolio. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to all, from national to local. Every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a marketing company, iHeartMedia is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. Discover the new Buick SUVs in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. We now return to the Jim Colbert Show. Hey, this is your old friend, Evil Eye, uh, Cheetah. Happy birthday. Man, you've been around a while. <laughs> You're older than Peanut. Oh, no, I guess not anymore. But, but you're way older anyway. Love you. Happy birthday again. Thanks, buddy. Happy birthday, uh, Jeter. By the way, you're costing yourself a billion dollars a year not doing voiceover work. I was, he sounds <laughs> Holy like... Holy Jesus, dude. Jim? You should find yourself an agent and just go look for parts with 
old guy who drives truck. Jimmy Durante, I think, did Frosty the Snowman. That I don't know. That sounded like Frosty. The- hey, Gina, happy birthday. <laughs> and I'm yeah, serious, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Mike, go get yourself an agent, friend. Go make some money hey. doing cartoon voices. My yeah. God Almighty. Hey, God. All right, bro. Hey, seven. this is your old friend, Evil. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Gina. 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 Hey, happy birthday. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. That's that great. Man. I wonder if he meant to do that. Yeah. That's a great. Welcome back. I'm Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And Jack is as well. Hi there. All right. 407-916-1041. You check us out on YouTube. You can do that. Uh, just go to jimcolbertlive.com. Click right through. And uh, you can see us do our thing on YouTube while you're there. Give us a like and a subscribe if you don't mind. And uh, keep those eyes on the skies. Uh, you might, because there is a big batch of what looks like some pretty heavy thunderstorms. You know, this is a cold front we're actually going through. Yeah, but it's got to be a certain kind of cold front to ruin the last blast. Well, it's not going to ruin the last blast. Okay, very okay? Nice. So we're only going to get but today the high 85, tomorrow the high 77 or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a big batch of thunderstorms coming. So if you're on the road, just, yeah, yeah. just keep, you know. Because... It's then, official. You've already called the last blast, which done. means no more weather below 50 degrees, right? No, no more weather below 70 degrees. No highs well, below high. 70. That's right. the last okay. blast. Yeah, yeah. No highs <sighs> below 70. I won't be a nit, and okay. I'll say that we're still in for one more. One really? more. I've heard that there's supposed to be two more coming, but I don't really? know how severe they're going to be. Yeah. I'm going to wait. Actually, so after this rainstorm, it's going to be warm next week, or warm through the oh weekend, and then warm next week. Next and then, Tuesday's 89. Yeah, there's supposed to be some other stuff coming behind that. So I think uh, I don't think there's going to be much of a spring. I think it's going to go straight. I think what you're experiencing right now is the best spring we got. Because I wait to put my fertilizer down in April, but I want to yeah. make sure uh, you know we're beyond the last one. Yeah, blast. for sure. Yeah, yeah, I got you, buddy. All right, 407-916-1041. We do have a question of the day. You can find that every day where, Jack? That is in our YouTube chat. So you go to YouTube, you uh, search Jim Colbert Show, follow us there. You can watch the show, subscribe. But also, I'm posting the poll right now. We do it every day. We talk about the results at the end of the program. And here is what we're talking about. Deb, something you and I absolutely love is going to be impossible to find here pretty soon. And it's a myth that got busted that really made this kind of go the old way. And you actually own one of these. Matter of fact, you're the only person on the show that owns one of these. Air compressor? No. I have an air compressor. Wait, this they're, they're... it's it's car related. Car related. Sunroof? Oh no, that's a good guess though. Jack, you I don't believe you have one of these, right? I don't know. I do not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I don't. Most of my uh well, I've been driving since I was what, 17 mm-hmm. until 50 uh, mm-hmm. into 40 years mm-hmm. of driving. Uh most of that time has been with one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had one of these. I oh. actually, I have one of these as well. I just don't I don't drive it very much. A stick shift. Yeah, man. They're gone. No. So it looks like what's going to... That's gonna, the only car I like to drive. I know. And that's why I, my tease for this segment that I couldn't find a minute ago, which is why I paused like a moron, <laughs> was if you have one of these things, you better hold on to it. Because if you sell your stick shift and Uh-oh. you wait long enough, you are simply not going to be able to find one anymore. Why? They're being factored out. There's only a few people that really like driving these things anymore. Which is great because then people look in my car window and go, stick shift, can't steal this bad boy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's a security feature. It is a security feature. You're right. It is. As part of the, that, and I can rabbit start off the light. So there are only a few groups of people that really enjoy stick shifts anymore. Can you guess who they may be? Speed Demon. Yeah, you car know. nuts. Well, it, car nuts are it, is one of them. There is a specific group of people um, that they that they, for a fact, that they know are basically keeping these things alive. It's young Gen Z or G, it's Gen Z drivers. God bless you, males. God bless you, and it's Europeans. Europeans still love driving stick shifts. Of course, they have access to the Autobahn. Well, not only that, I mean, stick shift well, is is a pretty standard um, all the time I spent, which was years and years ago, but. England, France, most of it was was stick shift. It's yeah. an easier car to build, easier to maintain, at least for them. It is easier to maintain because automatic transmissions, I think, is the most complicated is the most complicated part of your car is your transmission. By the way, machine, you know, mechanically, the most complicated part of your vehicle is the transmission. Considerably 
more complicated than your engine. I that like is, how you start a sentence and elevate three levels of emotion yeah, yeah. before you reach the <laughs> end of the sentence. Yeah, I'm telling you, dude, because the engine itself <laughs> is a machine that really hasn't changed in a long, long, long time. The internal combustion engine has worked exactly the same way pretty much for 150 years. You know, since it's an invention, they've made it more efficient, of course, and they've made a lot of improvements. The idea is still the same. Gas explosion drives a piston up and down, drives a crankshaft, drives your car. Right. The transmission is way different now. I mean, they are way different. The average automatic transmission has like nine gears now, as opposed to our cars. Like my my little Mustang yeah. has a is a five speed. Five. And yours is a five speed. Yep. Four with reverse. And what used to be the big myth about about driving a stick? Do you guys remember this? What's the biggest myth that people are like? Well, I drive a stick because of this. Oh, gas mileage. Gas mileage is oh, the answer. Yeah. yeah, it's worse gas we, mileage. We were told that driving a stick was better gas mileage. And it actually used to be kind of true, right? They can, depending on who's driving it, mm-hmm. how you're driving it. So, in other words, if you rabbit start from the lights, you're right. burning a little bit more gas. Exactly. Yeah. Or if you're ripping every gear up to, you know, 5,000, 6,000 RPMs before you shift. Why, that's a bad thing? That's also oh, not good. Damn. But, <laughs> but really what the deal is, is these new automatic transmissions are so unbelievably efficient, so unbelievably well-maintained or engineered that there is really no use. That's basically what they say in this story from CNN. Sorry. Zero use yeah. for uh, or for for sticks anymore at all. Yeah. Nope. Humans are only making the car run more inefficiently. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, I'll keep my, I'll move to Europe. <laughs> it says there are many reasons why it's ever harder to buy a new manual transmission model of any kind in any country. In the U.S., what percent of new models, what percent of new model vehicles uh, use a stick shift? And by the way, compare this to 1980 when 35% of all vehicles were manual transmissions. What do you think it is now? I'll go 3%. I'll go 2 Deb, you win. It's one. One oh. percent of all the vehicles sold in the U.S. have manual transmissions, and it's sports cars, off-road truck SUVs, and a handful of small pickups have clutches still. Everything else is automatic. And I have to tell you, I bet if we went out into this building and found five of the people that work in this building that are under the age of 30, that they would not be able to drive a stick shift. Well, first, you'd be hard-pressed to find five right. people. <laughs> right, right, right. And there's one company that's ending it all together, even in their sports cars, and it's kind of weird considering— Not the, Honda. No, no. Considering, Not Honda. Considering this brand, I believe, was under one of the biggest sports car brands on the planet, but Volkswagen oh, okay. is about to drop all of its manual gearboxes in order to comply with the new EU regulation, so you're not going to see— uh, a Volkswagen stick shift anymore. And I didn't, to be honest with you, outside of the Golfs or GTIs, I didn't even know that they had those anymore. I just thought all the vehicles were automatics. You know, the Tiptronics or whatever the case may be. Nope. Yeah, it says they're out. No more. Um, and there says, and one of the other, there is one more reason why this is happening. What do you think that is? And it makes sense, by the way. Traffic. No. There's one more big-time contributing factor to the ending of manual transmissions. And if you think about it, you can figure it out. AI. Not AI, but it is two letters. P-U. E-V. Oh, yeah. You know, electric vehicles don't have transmissions. Or they do. It's a single-drive transmission. It's just your motor is hooked up to the drive. And that's it. There is no gear. It's just one gear. You just go up. I mean, yeah. we, we have one of these things, but you don't shift an EV. There is no clutch. Right. It's like a golf cart. I, I have think- one. It's like driving a big golf cart. So that would almost be a bigger factor. That's two huge factors. One, just the the reduced demand yes. in the gas-powered mm-hmm. you know, vehicles, but... It's not a, even a factor for EV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, but a lot of automakers, though, have cooled on their predictions of their EV production and how much EV is going to take over the world. It really does look like what you're driving, Jack, is the answer it, at the moment is the hybrid because is. the EV battery issue, the environmental issue, the fires, it all is. of the stories that we've seen have kind of made automakers go, yeah, let's just it, cool down a little it's bit. It's funny, and I know, Jimmy, you actually on the show, you were talking about that. I th- You read an article and you talked about, you know, when they run all the numbers, it looks like 
hybrid right now it's, might be the the yep. greenest one of them all. It's the best. And that's when I was deciding. I was like, I was I wanted to get an EV, but I was like, you know, I'm that's why I suck with the hybrid. Yeah. My wife loves our car. We have a Mach yeah. E for people yeah. who are just tuning in and don't know. We've talked about it quite often, but we have a Mach E and we love it. I mean, and we actually are past that point where we were going to trade it in, maybe get a new one. We don't see a reason to do that. This thing is a monster. It holds its charge still like a champ. 70,000 miles on it. Haven't bought gas for three years. I, I'm I, telling you, man, there is, I mean, even if we have to do wind up replacing the battery, they've dropped in costs. Now the battery replacement used to be like 8,500 bucks. Yeah. Now it's like under five. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, man, there is no, but if I had to buy one of these, I would not quite be ready to go completely EV. I would probably get exactly what you have, dog. I would get yeah. a, I would get a hybrid of some sort. Well, I think you you kind of it's it's how you use it, right? So it's not it's not a one size fits all, right? And if you are someone who goes on long trips because you did the EV experience when you drove to Tennessee, yeah, right? Yeah, oh, and Mississippi, Mississippi, yeah. and yeah. and oh. never again. Yeah, I never seventeen was there. hours. Never. Yeah. Again. Well, now, well, so we get our Tesla uh, converter, uh, I believe, this month. Or next month, and they send it to us because we made that deal, or Ford made the deal with Tesla. Yeah. So now we have access to the Tesla chargers. It could be a lot different, but who knows? All right, 407-916-1041. Our buddy Scott Maxwell from the Orlando Sentinel is up next here on the Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio is the news junkie. Something is coming back into popularity that has not been popular for a very long time. Sean Wells. What? <laughs> How dare you? My Daddy. popularity remains at an all-time high. The News Junkie. Weekdays at 11 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Still seeing heavy traffic this afternoon on I-4 in the Orlando area for those traveling by the Beach Line and 535 and between 192 and Osceola Parkway. Looking at heavy traffic southbound on the Turnpike where a crash is blocking multiple lanes on the toll road at the Osceola Parkway exit. If you see other problems on the roads today, make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. We told you just a few minutes ago about the Jim Colbert question of the day. It's in our YouTube chat. It's brought to you by wearenotthebanks.com. Direct mortgage lenders. That's Brad Siebert and the team at wearenotthebanks.com. When it comes time to purchasing that home, is this a year where you are moving to a new home? Well, you need a mortgage. You need Brad at wearenotthebanks.com. Maybe you're just uh, watching the rates. Maybe you can get a better rate uh, right now, or you want to take advantage of some of the equity you've built up in your home over the year, refinancing as well. wearenotthebanks.com. Same website for all your mortgage needs, whether it's VA loans, conventional loans, jumbo loans of all sizes. I use uh, We Are Not The Banks when I did my refi several years ago. A great experience for me. Thank you, Brad. For all your mortgage needs, the website is wearenotthebanks.com. NMLS ID number 66247, equal housing opportunity. Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. Are your energy costs through the roof? FAS Windows and Doors is now offering buy three, get one free windows on any project. This is a plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. FAS also offers 24-month financing. No money down, no payments, and no interest for 24 months with this new financing option available from FAS. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS Windows and Doors today or visit us online at FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. Hi there. I'm Mia. I'm Air. Your Air? Yeah. I just got out of the lungs of someone smoking a cheap little cigar outside a bodega. Oh, it was so smoky in there. And where there's smoke, there's Fire. cancer. Oh. Yeah. Little cigars might taste sweet, but they still kill. I'm supposed to be helping people, not unhelping them. You mean hurting. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm a bit of an airhead. Little cigars are just as dangerous as regular cigarettes. Find out how to quit today at TobaccoFreeFlorida.com. 
People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. McD app download and registration required. International Diamond Center's values are so compelling, it's not unusual to see people here that are not local. Every day, we have people that drive an hour, an hour and a half, even two hours. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. People are willing to drive because they've heard it's not a typical jewelry store. For example, did you know IDC has one of the largest selections of luxury pre-owned Rolexes in America? Thousands of hard-to-find Rolex watches, Submariners, Daytonas, Pepsis, Batmans, all in perfect condition. We scour the world to find only the most pristine, super clean watches. We only carry the creme de la creme. And like everything else at IDC, these watches are at a price that's guaranteed to give you maximum value. We price them to win the customer, not lose a customer. International Diamond Center. For pre-owned Rolexes, exquisite rare diamonds, premium designer jewelry, and exceptional white glove service. You're going to want to come to IDC. It's worth the drive. International Diamond Center. For Orlando locations and online at shopidc.com. Hey, Orlando, are you looking for new ways to save? Well, on Verizon, you don't need to be on a family plan to get our best deals. Switch to Verizon, and for a limited time, plans start at just $50 per month for a single line with auto pay plus taxes and fees when you bring your own phone with unlimited welcome. That's a savings of $15 per month. And when you switch now, you can save on the things you love to stream, like Netflix and Max. There's never been a better time to switch to the network America relies on. A better plan to save is Verizon. This offer won't last long. Visit your local Verizon store to switch and save big today. $180 BYOD promo credit per phone applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line with your own 4G or 5G smartphone on unlimited welcome plan required. $360 local promo credit applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line. Additional terms apply in select markets only. Auto pay and paper free billing required. For unlimited welcome plan in times of congestion, unlimited 5G and 4G LTE may be temporarily slower than other traffic. Domestic data roaming at 2G speeds. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL Draft is right around the corner, and the Move the Six podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in, and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. We are professional grade at Orange Buick GMC. Online at orangebuickgmc.com. We now return to the Jim Colbert Show. All right, welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407, 916, 1041. You can always text us at 77031. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show here on Real Radio. I am Jim. There's Deb. Hello. Jack is here as I well. Am. Uh, every Wednesday around 520, we invite this guy to drop by, share some of his thoughts. He writes for the Orlando Sentinel Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. You can read his column. You can find him every day mad about something right there on Twitter at Scott underscore Maxwell. Good and loud for our friend, Mr. Scott Maxwell. There you Yay. go. I wouldn't describe him as angry, Sweet though. heat. No, I'm angry. I'm angry a lot of the time. Yeah, in fact, we're going to talk about a couple of people, I think, today that are pretty miserable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I, I would say, I, I know you all have talked about it, but I do want to say I was so sorry to hear about Ross. I listened to the show. I know you all were sorry as well. Uh, I, I, I could go on forever. I sent him a text sending my thoughts. But I'll just say this. Not only was he funny, uh, is he is he funny, I think he was probably the quickest witted 
person uh, I've heard on radio before. Just yeah, he's, so, so so many talents and weapons. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, it's hard for me to talk about, boss. I'm going to be dead honest with you. I won't. I won't go on with it. I won't make you. But I told Jack, and you all know this. Believe me when I tell you, I understand. Yeah. I'm in a newsroom that is about. I don't know, 15% the size it was when I yeah. started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Modern media is not a, a great landscape. Yeah, it's days. tough, man. It's uh, it's tough when, you know, again, there's no reason. You know, the guy is a productive, funny, yeah. awesome human being in this building, revered everywhere he goes, revered, revered at Universal, revered everywhere. Good person, did not fit the, the bill. Like when you looked at him, you'd never sum up that a kid was – that astute on so many different things and that deep in so many different subjects. But, uh, I, and I think it's those things that will allow him to, you know, to do the things he has to do in his life. So, um, absolutely agree. I predict a hundred percent success for him. Yeah. Yeah. And like I put on Facebook, you know, if you can help any way you can see his shows, go to his friend show, buy his merch, you know, all that helps for sure. And you'll have a damn good time doing it. You'll have a damn good time doing it because he's a super yeah. funny guy, that's for sure. All right, Absolutely. so um, I saw your piece today um, about – this is about the Regina Hill case. Um, so I had one Sunday, yeah, about Regina Hill and then today about uh, Carolina Amnesty. And right. really they're kind of this. two sides of the same coin. And I, I think if I had to do uh, uh, put a motto with both of these things, it's can't we do better? Yeah. Really, just can't we do better? Regina Hill's a Democrat. Carolina Amnestine's a Republican. I think this state and its citizens deserve better than some of the elected officials we have. And we can start by talking about Regina Hill, uh, the city commissioner. And I know you guys have talked some about this on the show, and we talked about it briefly last week. But that was before I had a chance to really go through the documents. And I uh, went through all of the court filings. And I also went through a city investigation that was done more than a year ago. And I got to tell you, that part irked me as much as anything, because in City Hall, they knew or should have known something was amiss a long time ago. For those of you listeners who do not remember, the allegations, according to an FDLE special agent, are basically that she sort of befriended an elderly woman, I think 96 years old, and got the power of attorney over her estate. Uh, There's an account with about $160,000 and then proceeded to drain that account. And and if you'll indulge me, because I think it's pretty heinous, I'm just going to read you one paragraph. This is from the FDLE special agent assigned to the case. This is what sort of summarizes it. A thorough review of the various financial documents showed that Hill used the alleged victim's funds to do things such as rent a vehicle, purchase expensive bottles of perfume, clothing, purchase numerous intravenous infusions of vitamins from Vital Lounge, purchase a facelift for Hill, a New Year's Eve hotel stay in Miami, Florida, car insurance payment on Hill's personal vehicles and dental surgery for Hill, these purchases and or bank withdrawals exceeded $100,000 and solely benefited Hill. Now, that's pretty heinous to begin with. What I think becomes even more heinous and where I believe the city has some culpability is in her interview with the city investigator, Regina Hill admits or acknowledges that she met this woman through her position as a city commissioner, yeah. that this woman's house was facing code enforcement. And then she admits she signed, she signed these paperwork. Now, she says she does nothing untoward, but I'm telling you, that's untoward. That sucks. Yeah, she, that's wildly inappropriate. She co-signed. She got this old woman to co-sign that loan for her so she could get 100 k mm. She was supposed to use that money to to fix this woman's house, which was in such disrepair that it was barely livable from what I understand. And instead, she made repairs to her own house. And as far as I remember reading that first story, the still house that she lives in is still in disrepair. So there's a lot of things that could be, you know, open for interpretation. She has not been charged with anything. I should stress that. Um, I would sort of expect there to be charges at some point in time. This was a judge. The reason we knew about this has ordered her to stay away under the state's elder exploitation rule, rule uh, law. Um, but what we do know are the two things that she admitted from her own mouth. She met this woman because she was facing code enforcement and then got, got her to co-sign a loan. That's inappropriate. Of all the people of the 300,000 residents of Orlando who, to help you secure a, a personal loan, one should not be one of your constituents who's facing code enforcement. And the state knew, or not the state, the city knew this and did not act upon it. So in other words, what you're saying is, for, this is how I look at things, I don't know about you, Scott, so it's common practice now. 
in the city commission that if you can find some constituent of yours that you can take advantage of and get money from, and then they find out that you, you did this, that you cope. Well, I can't say coerce because I don't know that's the case. But then you got this person to co-sign on a loan for you. They looked at it, didn't find any problem with that. That is, look, man. Problematic, yes. That and, is, and that's what I saw. So, so the, the, the city's investigation was based on one of Regina Aids Hill's former aides, who basically said she was like a, a, a terrible boss. Asked her to do too much. Asked her to do personal errands. Use profanity. Blah 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 blah. Also, blah. also, sure. also said her office was unethical as well. Did she not? Oh, that was part of it. Yeah, yes, yeah. but part of it came up with this. And in the course of the investigation, and they paid an outside law firm. The the, the lawyer who's paid to investigate just includes both of the facts I just mentioned. And in, in like I think within about two graphs, a she met this woman through code enforcement, and b Regina Hill says she got this woman to co-sign a loan. And then the report just goes on. <laughs> and my point is, how does the investigator not say that's a problem? How does City Hall, which paid for the investigator investigation, not say that's a problem? And so to your point about they say it's normal business, I send a note to the mayor's office and I said, why would you not flag that? And they said, well, it's common practice, that was their phrase, for uh, uh, sitting commissioners to learn about their constituents' problems. And I responded, is it common practice for them to then use those constituents to help co-sign a loan to buy a house? Because if it is, we got a big problem in this town. It, did they respond to that? No, 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 no. Well, that's... So they responded to the one with what they wanted you to hear, but then when you hit them with the real question, they just shut up? Well, I put the real question in the paper. I mean, I I, I said, how is this how is this appropriate? Uh, and that's that was that's, their answer. That's exactly where it should be asked. I, I love yeah, that. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah. So, and, and, and I think I think this is being investigated. And and thank goodness, by the way, the the group uh, handling this lady's case is an organization called Mid Florida Legal Services. Just if any of your listeners need to know, they do great work, and they're basically pro bono. They're for people who can't afford lawyers. And uh, in a case like this, think about how rough it would be if you if you thought you'd been exploited uh, by a person in power, and, and yeah. you have virtually no money. In fact, you have a lot less money than you had before. Where are you going to turn? It's sort of organizations like these that do it. And, and this organization has leaned into it. They have not shied away be because it's a person of power. They made a Facebook video and said, let me t let us tell you who did this. It's Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill. Yeah, Again, yeah. Not, not charged with anything yet. Uh, she'll have her day in court. Uh, one was supposed to be today, and it got delayed. Oh, yeah, they don't pull any punches. That's one of the good things you told me about this. These are not, they do not care about your party. Uh, they care about the allegations, and uh, hopefully they can find some answers here. Right now, it does not look very savory for Commissioner Hill, and and hopefully if any of this is true, that that, uh, that uh, area that she represents can find somebody that will stand up for them and do a good job and not abuse them if that is the case. So, uh, and, yeah. then, and then what is the update on the amnesty uh, case? So, so we had an investigation, and, I, and just to, to remind your listeners uh, for a little background, she's kind of been a train wreck since she got into office. <laughs> And you may remember we talked about this before. They did an investigation and they found uh, there was unpaid taxes on a restaurant she owed. Uh, and by the way, I always consider that a pretty serious problem for public officials who are spending other people's tax money. There was unpaid uh, taxes she owed, unpaid utility bills, conflicting dates that she had given about what, when she graduated from college. Her family owns this university, and I'm going to put that in quotes because it's not like a university that probably your kids attended or you attended. It's this small collection of buildings in East Orlando that maybe has online students, maybe has... Anyway, they claim they have a $1.6 million house in, uh, in, in uh, Keens Point, and they don't think they should have to pay taxes on it because it's for an educational purposes. Twice, the property appraiser's office and a special magistrate have said, no, you have to pay taxes just like everybody else. You may remember I found $3 million in a super squirrely deal that she had secured for a tiny chamber of commerce in South Florida, no connection to Central Florida, that had endorsed her campaign. It was supposedly for a small town in South Florida. I contacted the small town in South Florida. They said, we did not request this. That means that the request she filled was a lie. It had, a, it, it had a line that said, this city needs this money. The city said, no, they didn't. They ended up firing their lobbyist over it. The legislature has withheld the, the, the funding, the $3 million, thanks, thank goodness. But then this past Sunday, um, our reporters went back and looked at the Amnesty's family, it's called Central Christian University, looked at their attempt to get this, the university licensed. 
And when they went before the state to uh, request to be licensed, they put forward this portfolio of supposedly really seasoned educators who were working for them with degrees from places like Harvard, while reporters decided to contact the people who were allegedly working at once again at this little rinky-dink building if, to see if these Harvard professors were working there, and five of them said no. They said, not only are we not working there, we have never worked there. And perhaps the biggest red flag is one of them had a signature notarized by Carolina Amnesty herself. That means using state law, say, saying he signed that he was working there, and he told our reporters, not only did I not sign that, that is not my signature. I would go testify under oath that that is not my signature. And they contacted three handwriting experts who said that's not his ex his signature as well. It's just a whole train train load of what the hell are you yeah, know? That's, but that's not a, I mean, of course. What the hell are you? I like that. <laughs> of course, that's an ethical issue, but that's a crime. Isn't that fraud? You can't do that, right? You can't you can't forge a signature on a on a on a uh, government document like you, that. You are correct. You can't do that. Right? It's a third degree <laughs> felony punishable by up to uh, five years in prison. Wow. Because the Regina Hill also has a notary in Pine Hills who's been practicing for many, many years. Um, who has her name and her stamp at the bottom of the document that Regina Hill uh, reportedly had notarized by this woman. But this woman also said it doesn't have the other ways that I authenticate that, that this is a, a, an original right. document. And then also that would suggest it's real. And the weirdest thing, I forgot to mention this, right. the weirdest thing on that whole document that was supposedly giving Regina Hill uh, a, a power of attorney is that one of the witnesses was Regina Hill's son, and his name was misspelled right next to each other, right next to each other. It's spelled two different ways. Yep. Jim, I don't know how many legal documents you signed, <laughs> but I can tell you I've never misspelled my own name or signed my name next to a printed misspelled version of I, my name. I signed a few today, and I have to tell you, I think it was 100. I think it was 10 for 10. I don't think I've yeah, misspelled right. my own name once. Yeah, I forgot yeah, that. But notaries are serious, and to your question and to Deb's point, I mean, that's where we start talking about this double standard where, so we have a guy and handwriting experts saying, this does not look real. This thing that was uh, that has to be under state law does not look real. Where's the investigation? Where, where are the people coming in to say, you know what, uh, I don't care this person is a state lawmaker, uh, we, uh, we're going to investigate this and see. We don't see that. We only see it under certain political instances. And here's the point I made in my column. Democrats, they're a mess. They're a mess. They still haven't found anybody to even run against Carolina Amnesty. That's kind of nuts in my estimation. It's a close to this is the Disney district, by the way. Yeah, yeah. But here's my point to Republicans. Republicans, can't you do any better? <laughs> I mean, it's been one train wreck after dumpster fire uh, with this. Can't don't Republicans sort of look at each other and go, you know what? We can do better than this. <laughs> we we should we should clean up our own mess and put up a better candidate. Instead, uh, Governor DeSantis's press uh, spokeswoman. Uh, after we wrote the first story about unpaid taxes, called the story uh, a badge of honor because it was written by the Sentinel. Unpaid taxes are a badge of honor. Yeah, I you mean, he's got a different mindset than I do. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe we look at honor differently. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's unbelievable, so, man. I, you know, I, both of those stories. I mean, what what a what quite bookends of Central Florida politics, huh? It just shows. Yeah, that's right. And what, again, one's a Democrat, one's a Republican. The theme here should be we can do better. We really can do better. We have some decent people, and a lot of them don't make headlines. And thank God, when, when Bill Cowles, our former elections retired, uh, supervisor, uh, retired, I said, thank you for being boring. Thank you for being <laughs> deadly dull in office and us not ever yeah. writing about you in a blackface scandal, yeah, yeah, yeah. not ever taking your mistress to the office late at night, as we've had actually in, I think, two offices in two different counties, uh, not for bringing a congressman uh, to the office late night to go through driver's licenses. You know, thanks for just holding elections. <laughs> That'd be great. You know, the funny thing is, I think, isn't Seminole County dealing with some supervisor election issues? I guess, wasn't there a, 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 an attempt to get one of those guys out of office here recently or something? The supervisor himself yeah. has alluded that there's, uh, yeah, some some. God, there's right. something. It's hard to know exactly what's going on there. He claims it's a really racist county and that all of the county commissioners are against yeah. him because he's a black man. These are all Republicans. Yeah. They're this guy's a DeSantis appointee. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, it doesn't look it, neat. It, now, this is Chris Anderson, right? Yeah, we're right. Talking about, yeah, yeah. It's so interesting because I remember going to the Geneva 
uh, Fourth of July parade uh, a few years ago in Geneva, of course, a very small town up in northeast Seminole County. Um, and they have a pretty big Fourth of July parade. And the interesting part is the first part of the parade is all you know, very Fourth of July patriotism, American stuff. But the last part of the parade is all political. It's all political. It's it's just it's either commissioners or ag commit, whatever the case may be, yeah. riding in the car. I found this to be interesting. Now, this was the list of people as you're like, you're walking by and you're like, oh, there's Corey Mill. Check him out. They're on the back of a tractor. Very nice. Oh, yeah, there's uh, Jason Brodeur riding in the back of a of a pickup truck with this some hay Geneva, bales. Right? This is a Geneva, right? Okay, they know their and, audience. And this, they have to do this, right? Oh, yeah, there's Grant Malloy. They go, good old, good old Grant Malloy riding on a tractor pickup truck. Oh, who's that? Chris Anderson walking in front of a Rolls Royce. Yeah. A Rolls Royce. He, he had a Rolls Royce, like a phantom Rolls Royce with his campaign stuff on the side of it. And he was walking out in front of it and said, Dog, read the room. <laughs> that is yeah, in Geneva. Yeah, yeah, I, right. You know, I've, I've I've announced several parades in my day as one of my uh, side talents. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's on your business card. I'd right? rather see the Shriners in their tiny little cars yeah, yeah. than a tax collector <laughs> come through a Christmas parade. I'd rather see one of them Taekwondo troops, you know, doing. <laughs> This jujitsu kids and the soil and water commissioner yeah, waving yeah. to everybody and trying to score votes. <laughs> that's, that's just not what I equate with uh, Christmas or the Fourth of July. But it was kind of funny, and uh, yeah. But anyway, it, it, it was. I remember seeing that, going, "Oh my god, dude, that's very interesting." It's a lot of country guys, and there's Chris Anderson with his Rolls Royce. Thought it was kind that's of funny. a choice. All right, four zero seven nine one six one zero four one. Uh, text us seven seven zero three one. We're just going to breaking news right now. Yeah, former senator and uh, former vice presidential candidate Joe Lieberman has died. He looked about dead when I saw him on TV when I was with you last week. Remember in the studio? Right, yeah, yeah. I said he looked about dead. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. Scott's I fault. Just, Some respect, Scott. 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 I know I should enjoy That's this probably not the first reaction. <laughs> he's, he's still in the room he died in, buddy. They haven't hey. taken him to the hospital yet. Hey, everybody, I was right. I predicted this. <laughs> it's I'm my fault. Death. He's a Democrat. What are you doing? Uh, I, what I meant to say was uh, Actually, my thoughts both... and prayers are with the Lieberman family at oh, this yeah. tough time. He's, he's, I think they're both independent. Yeah, he's in the uh, yeah, exactly. you're right, he's in the, well scott is always yeah, he's, he's leading that no party labels uh thing going on now. he was yeah. buddy he yeah was. not <laughs> it's too soon scott right, too, too soon, soon. It's very i'm very Easy. i need to grieve now uh, yeah, I, while you all go to break i'm gonna everybody give it up for the heartless oh uh, my scott god Hedgeman. oh my there god you. unbelievable he's wearing oh, black right. uh, he it is in Twi- his heart that's on twitter scott i've met him too by the way i've been a sweet guy right yeah, he was, well, I think he got a little, little as it, well, things went on. But, yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, sure. Relatively hard. All right, there don't he is. Don't Scott. Scott. Scott you know, Maxwell. Don't speak ill of the day. All right, 407-916-1041. You're an animal. We'll, we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, big dog. All right, talk to you then. All right, you got yeah. it, man. All right, uh, all right let's <laughs> load him up. Harsh, yeah. sheesh. Love Tri- that guy. Trivia next. We have some cool stuff. Orlando City versus New York Red Bulls. Tickets coming up for the 30th or a big concert later this year. Stuntable Pilot, Soul Asylum, and Live. All of that up for grabs next here for trivia. We have a prize. Get on board at 407-916-1041. Jim Colbert Show Trivia is brought to you by Cento Family Moving and Storage. That's C-E-N-T-O moving.com. This is three-time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. March Madness continues tomorrow. It'll be the start of the Sweet 16. All four one seats and two seats are still in the field. Stetson could be losing their leading score. Guard Jalen Blackman announced today he's going to enter the transfer portal. And over to the NBA where the Magic and the Warriors are set to clash on the court. That one's coming up tonight. Orlando had their five-game win streak snapped by the Kings over the weekend. I'm Scott Davidson. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4-6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. It's always good to have a guy, right? It's always good to have a company you know you can lean on when it comes to that thing you need. And for me, when it comes to bathrooms, when it comes to anything like that, it's Rebath in Mid-Florida. I've been doing business with these guys for almost 10 years now. They've been doing it in Orlando for like 15 years. And look at their Google reviews. Five stars, dog, across the board. They know what they're doing. This is a father and son team, and they are concentrating. The the entire company is built on integrity and craftsmanship, and that's what they give you. The products are amazing. Go to the rebathmidfla.com and look at what they offer, or go to the showroom, 436 Abad Altamont, right across from Kobe. You'll see some models set up. Now, understand, you're not picking one of those models. Those are there just to show you what some of the products look like as they're put together in a bathroom. You sit with the design team and go through their gigantic catalog of so many 
choices of tubs and tile and sink and lighting and cabinetry. It's all there. You put it together. They install it four to six days. Their employees, lifetime guarantee on the products and the install. And if you're worried about integrity, don't. The big blue and orange store that do all the DIY stuff. Rebath installs their bathrooms for them. You can trust them. They do. You can as well. Hop on board. Look at the before and afters. Then book your appointment. It's RebathMidFLA.com. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years' experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. R.C. Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. Cracked or worn out bottom rubbers and seals expose your garage door to bugs and other pests, dirt, debris, and cold air. A1 Garage Door Service can replace old bottom rubber and seals in no time. And don't forget about all the moving parts of a garage door system. Wheels get old, cables fray, grease runs out, and tracks move, putting excessive wear and tear on your garage door system. Don't wait until there's a problem. Call A1 Garage Door Service for all of your garage door needs. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. Because the garage door is the smile of your home, don't wait. Call A1 Garage Door Service and you'll be smiling today. A1Garage.com, A1 from day one. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind. Yes, another attorney commercial. When people ask me what they should look for when they're hiring an attorney, I make it pretty simple. One, Has your attorney been practicing for more than 10 years? Two, do they pick up the phone when you call? And three, do they actually care about you? If this works for you, contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546. Office Orlando. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Why choose a Sleep Number Smart Bed? Can it keep me warm when I'm cold? 
Wait, no, I'm always hot. Sleep Number does that. The Climate 360 Smart Bed actively cools or warms up to 13 degrees on either side for your ideal sleep temperature. 94% of Sleep Number smart sleepers report better sleep. J.D. Power ranks Sleep Number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in-store. And now save $1,000 on our most popular Sleep Number smart bed and Saturday. For J.D. Power 2023 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. To find a store near you, visit sleepnumber.com. Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show, also available to watch at The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. All right, 407 916 Text us 77031. If you'd like to leave a talk back, you can do that. You hear them occasionally. Little recordings of people, you know, just kind of giving their opinions. It's easy to do and free. Yeah, yeah. Just grab that iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it. Use that little microphone you see to send it on down the line. Jack will get you on the air in no time. All right, welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. Jack is as well. And he's got the Jackie sack. Let's find out what's up for grabs. All aboard. Chugga chugga. Choo choo. Look at it, clack. Look at it, clack. There we go. Jackety sack. Jackety sack. It's Jackie sack. Not jackety. Yeah, but what about, was, that's rude. Captain Jack's treasure no, chest? No, 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 no stop, Jackie stop, Sack. Stop. Oh, come joke. on! No, no, no. <laughs> I can make it worse if you'd like. We can go back to Jack Sack. I can make it worse. You got a choice of prizes in Jack Sack <laughs> right today. Right back to the Jack. There we go. No, wait, what is it? Is it Jackety it's a, Sack? It's the Jackety Sack. Or Jackie Sack. Jackie, Jackie Sack. Yeah, like Jackie, Jackie Sack. sack. Jackie, Jackie Sack. Oh, I used to hate that as a kid when they called me Jackie. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's oh, the worst. Oh, oh, yeah, I.E. I'm okay with the Jackie sack. Here we go. Let's do it. Either a pair of tickets to see Orlando City SC. What up? Take on New York Red Bulls. That's this Saturday at Inter and Coast Stadium. You can be there. Or the other prize in the Jackie sack is a pair of tickets to see Stone Temple Pilots and the band live. It's called the Jubilee Tour. They have a special guest, and they are Soul Asylum. That's happening August 28th at the Mid-Florida Credit Union Amphitheater. That's over in Tampa, just on the edge of Tampa, right when you start losing our radio signal. Right, exactly. exactly. (laughs) (laughs) And the Jack... Yeah, it's brought to you by... Always brought to you by Sento Family Moving and Storage. You know, they have fully trained expert moving crews that are adept in packing your things, handling your furniture, safe driving, customer service, and so much more. Hey, speaking of more, mention the Jim Colbert Show, and that will get you a discount. Book them today at CentoMoving.com. That's C-E-N-T-O Moving.com. Clickety-clack back to you. Thanks, Deb. I appreciate that. Sure. Who goes first today, Jackson? Oh, that will definitely be Matt. Matt right there on line four. Matt, how you doing? I'm doing awesome. Good, buddy. Would you like to play a little game with us? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> game show. Nope. All right, Matt, this is very easy. Got a game. I got a question here for you. One and excuse me, four answers. One of those answers is untrue. It's a lie. If you can find that one, boss, I will send you over to the Jackie Sack, and you can choose the prize of your choosing. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Here we go. On this day in 1975, singer, dancer, model. Shakira. Spokesperson. Mm. Uh, Author. Entrepreneur. It's a blast from the past a little bit. She'll funk with your heart. Madonna. She's a black-eyed pea. Oh, Fergie. Fergie. That's right. She's Fergalicious. Fergie was born on this day. Here are three fun facts about Fergie and one boom, boom, boom of a lie. Oh, Number one. Go. Here we go, buddy. We're talking about Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas. Number one. In 2006, Fergie turned down $5 million to appear in Penthouse Magazine. Number two. In high school, she was a cheerleader, a straight-A student, and a spelling bee champ. Number three. She's part owner of the Miami Dolphins. Or lastly... Fergie is bisexual. Which of those is a lie? Number two. No, that's true, buddy. In high school, she was a cheerleader, a straight A student, and a spelling bee champion. Oh, what happened? Who's next, Jackson? Javier. Javier right there on line three. Javier, how you doing, buddy? Hello, how are you guys doing? Doing good, boss. We're talking about Fergie, the beautiful and talented Fergie. Which one of these is untrue? Number one, in 2006, Fergie turned down $5 million to appear in Penthouse Magazine. Number two, she's part owner of the Miami Dolphins. Or lastly, Fergie is bisexual. Number one. Number one is the winner, buddy. You're going. Yay! Yay! Yeah, you're 
our winner, Javier. Ooh, Enjoy ooh. your prize. I'm guessing it'll be Orlando City Soccer for Javier. He's a big fan, I believe. Uh, I don't know. He can hit, either way, he gets to go That's into right. uh, Jack's Jackie set. Yeah, gets Easy. To, yeah. She is part <laughs> owner of the Miami Dolphins. No way. I thought that was the lie. And uh, she is bisexual. She didn't turn down $5 million to appear in Penthouse Magazine. She was offered some money to appear in Playboy, but she did turn that down. I think it was a million pounds. Or something like that. But, uh, yeah, she turned that down. Matter of fact, you can't even find you can't find even a topless photo of Fergie online. Not even wow. one. I take Not it once. you've looked? Well, I yeah, can, I, I, yeah, I have. Well, I wanted to <laughs> see, I, because I was writing the, I, when, when you write these answers, you want to make sure there's nothing out there. So when you search Fergie Playboy, not nothing. Like, not one image of her, oh. no nothing. You try Fergie nude? Fergie no, naked? No, just, just Fergie Playboy. Fergie XXX? No, stop. Get out of here. A um, couple other things you may not know about Fergie before we get over to the top of the hour. She was part of the children's show Kids Incorporated, which ran from, or her, she ran from 84 to 89. Oh, wow. And I watched some of the uh, the old YouTube of it. Man, it, it's weird. She doesn't look anything like she looks even as a young adult. She just kind of changed dramatically. Uh, and it's just one of those Everybody Smiles kid shows. Right, right yeah. Now from the 80s. This is why you'll probably never find a picture. Her parents were devout Roman Catholic. Oh, there you go. School teachers. There you go. <laughs> Which explains the good grades. The, and the good upbringing. And you'll notice, I'll, I'll get some of the end of this. That you maybe didn't realize, I learned today this. Uh, she was a Girl Scout, right? Uh, she wasn't the an original member of the Black Eyed Peas, which I did not know. She joined the band during with her third album, which really blew them up, actually. Well, yeah. Right after she joined, that album just destroyed and made the Black Eyed Peas household names. After kicking an addiction to crystal meth, she treated herself with a little something. Yeah, she was addicted to meth. She tried it while in the Hollywood scene when she first got there and got addicted to it. It got down to 90 pounds and then sought help. Uh, but she treated herself with an earring. And I wonder if that goes back to the Roman Catholic thing. Are Catholics real? Are Catholic parents really strict when it comes to piercings for girls? Uh, I don't think so. It, it depends because I know, yeah. like, in I, I think my ears were pierced when I was between six months and a yeah. year old. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I don't remember that being part of Catholicism. No, oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, some religions Could have be some yeah. acupressure type yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and as a child actor, she was the voice of Sally Brown in two made-for-TV Peanuts movies. Oh, wow. So that was actually one of her first jobs. The other thing I found interesting is this. What does Fergie do in her songs a lot? Uh, oh, um, booty shake. Mm -mm. Percussion with mm -mm. her? No. She spells. Oh, and she's a spelling bee champ. Yeah. There so you, you go. She brought that part of her life as a kid into her songwriting. So if you'll notice, a lot of her songs spell words out, and that's the reason why. Because she was a spelling bee champ. Oh, it makes sense, right? You don't yeah. want to let the old days go. I thought it was crazy. That's kind of cool. All right, there you go, Fergie. Uh, she is, see, 75. What is she, 439? 49 today? 25, yeah, 20, 49. 45, 49. There you go. Boys. Wow. All right, uh, 407, 916, <laughs> uh, 1041. You can always text us at 77031. Religion is going through a churning. I'll tell you what that is next. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Drivers in the Orlando area can expect heavy traffic east and westbound on I-4 by the major attractions exits and through downtown. Still looking at stop and go delays southbound on the turnpike due to a crash that blocks at least two right lanes on the toll road at the Osceola Parkway exit. No major problems at this time for drivers taking the 408 east or westbound. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. All it takes is one glance at your weather app to know that the weather is completely bananas in this state. You know, 72 one day, 88 the next day. We're about to experience that coming up this week. Is your AC ready for these brutal Florida summers? If not, get with my friends over at Mills Air. Get the preventive maintenance plan. That's when they go through your AC system and make sure that it's ready to go all summer long. These guys have been doing this for a long time. You can trust them. 30-plus years of experience. 
experience in Central Florida. When you see that Mills Air Van rolling down your driveway, you should be smiling because that means your AC is going to do just fine. Their techs know all these brands. You don't have to know even what kind of AC you have. And even better, they're carrier factory authorized dealers. What does that mean? Possibly up to $1,275 in rebates towards your brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier and certainly turn to Mills Air, a family owned and operated company. Call them today and schedule that appointment. Get that preventive maintenance plan. It's 407 277 1159. Find them online at millsair.com. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill. Located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now. Available at harryspoolside.com slash harrys sip and savor. After more than four decades in the diamond business, International Diamond Center owner Keith LeClaire knows a thing or two about diamonds. And a big concern he has right now is the influx of man-made or lab-grown diamonds being sold at retail stores all over. Keith says these diamonds may look like the real thing, but they're being mass-produced and are losing value by the day. Why would you put your money in something that devalues faster than food you eat? Keith says they may look nice, but you can grossly overpay. For example, a man-made two-carat diamond costs next to nothing to produce. Uh, Two carat lab grown diamond will cost $320 today. But you'll see it in a store showcased with an insane markup. They're selling it for probably $2,000 to $8,000. Two years ago, it was in the $12,000 range, and today you're talking about a $320 diamond? Come on. Your mama didn't bring you up that way. If you're considering buying a lab grown or machine made diamond, get the facts before you write that check. Let the non commissioned experts at International Diamond Center help you discover real lasting value for Orlando locations. Don't miss TK Law. Trendley Kramer Law calls every Monday at 620 on the Jim Colbert Show. Ray Trendley and the Colbert crew will be discussing all things law and not law on a variety of topics. From the latest legal news to the best new movies. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my Big Green Egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the Big Green Egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a Big Green Egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the Big Green Egg and advanced techniques on the Big Green Egg as well. When you get the Big Green Egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wassysmeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jarn Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Now back to the Jim Colbert Show. 
Hey, Jimmy. I really appreciate how easily you break down an internal combustion engine working. There's a much more fun way to do it, and it's suck, squeeze, bang, blow. <laughs> that's the order of operation. That's how an engine works. Yeah. And it's fun to say. Say it with me. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. I charge extra. <laughs> yes. That's 25 an hour from dead. Oh, sweetie. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm sorry. Thank you. All right, 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. That is Deb. Hello. Jack is here. Yeah. And by the way, that's a talk back. If you want to do that, you can do it as well. It's free. Just get the iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it. Use that little microphone you see. Just click on it, say what you got to say, and send it on to Jack. Okay. It's very, very easy. Did you just say that is Deb? Yeah, I said that's Deb. Okay, good enough. Is that bad? No, just checking. What well, should that, I, yeah, it's what should imp- I have well, said? it's impersonal, but oh. would you say that about a person? That that's that, Deb. That that's Jack. Deb. There's that Deb. There's there. Deb. Oh, there okay. is. I did not know. That I'm is. sorry. My apologies. I'll do it again tomorrow. <laughs> we know. Right. That's so, what we wanted you to remember. So what? Well, when I say religious churning, what do you think I mean by religious churning? This is a story from NPR today. If you want to go and read the entire thing yourself, I'll try to do that more often as I pull stories, tell you where the resource is, so you can go read it yourself and find out how just wrong I was. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. I appreciate you sharing that old woman scowl into the mic. Anything else you can do? There you go. Very nice. Very good. I guess I'll take first okay, place yeah, yeah. there. What do you think churning is? Oh, well, I know they've been seeing a decrease in attendance. Um, Donations, money coming in. Mm-mm, no. The age groups of people that are going to church. Yeah. So it's churning so that it, maybe it, it was older people and now you're yeah. seeing more younger people. I, you know, I got to tell you I, you, know, I also thought this was an odd term to use for this. But when you start reading the story, it really kind of makes itself kind of evident. Like if you think of a, a, a you know, a, a, uh, if you think of um, a pot of like vegetables and you're boiling them. Right. Yeah. And it's rolling. That's a churning thing. Right. And, it, you know, you're going to see some broccoli in a minute. You're going to see some carrots. You're going to see some potatoes. Then you're not going to see them. Then you're going to see them. I think that what they're trying to say is churning here, which they say is very common in America, is just how, you know, from generation to generation, we change the way that we look at faith. And I think the churning of religion is just the change that we see as we get older or as you're younger or as you learn more, your party affiliation, your lifestyle, that that churns a bit. And what they're seeing is, is a bit of a churn right now. What percentage of Americans do you believe right now, as we sit here, uh, identify as religiously unaffiliated? Oof, what percentage? Yeah, what percentage of Americans right now uh, are identifying as religiously unaffiliated? They do not have a religion. They're not Catholic. They're not Protestant. They're not. Uh, they're nothing. I'm going to go, ooh, 60 you think 60%? Okay, no, I was, I see. I, That's his right. guess. Yeah, okay. yeah, damn it. 34%. You're closer. It's 26%. Oh, wow. wow. So one quarter of all Americans consider themselves religiously unaffiliated. Now, that doesn't mean they're not spiritual. Right. It's and it just doesn't not mean religion. any of that. that they, in other words, they haven't chosen a religion. And that, I think, is what one of the interesting parts of this story is. Uh, they found out that the number of those who describe themselves as nothing in particular, in other words, they don't really have a belief or anything like that, has held held steady since 2013. But those who identify as atheist has doubled from 2 to 4%, and agnostics have more than doubled from 2 to 5%. And 35% were former... Catholics? Catholics, and they were former... uh, 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 35% 35 were former mainline Protestants. Only about 16% were former evangelicals. In other words, the really, you know, the the real out there, you know, the the ones that are the the you know the yeah. the really orthodox, and, I should say. And now they're NRA, uh, no, no religious affiliation. Yeah, yeah, right. um, and it says um, those for look those looking for an organized religion that would be right for them. They're saying only about nine percent of Americans really even are looking for you know a faith or a religion that really kind of fits. What they feel inside, which I think is, you know, one of those things that a lot of people have a problem with. Or you know, you're 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 raised a certain affiliation. Right. And then as you get older, start forming your own opinions about the world and find out maybe that doesn't fit what you feel anymore. And you're seeing a lot of that as well. And I believe the churning number is a lot of this kind of hitting at right, once. Exactly. Um uh, what church do you think is losing more members than it's gaining? 
although the same religion uh, is uh, better for one group of people than others. Catholics are losing more than any other religion except for Hispanic Catholics. They're, uh, they're not losing as much because they're yeah. more tolerant. Hispanic Catholics don't hold Catholicism in the same— They don't uh, question. They do, exactly. But they don't hold it in the same regard as, as I guess, uh, non-Hispanic Catholics. There's a much lower religious churn among what group? And this is a this is a race. Two people actually. It doesn't really do blacks, black Protestants and Jews seem very happy with their faith and traditions and will not move. They tend to stay there. Oh wow! So so Jews don't really vary much from Judaism, and black Protestants pretty wow. much stick with their church and they don't they don't. There's no varying there what? unless they marry a shiksa. So there's a little <laughs> bit of variation there. It says, and it asks for why why people re, uh, leave the religions. This is when it starts kind of getting very interesting, all right? 67% of the people who have left a faith tradition did so because of why. What do you think? Inappropriate touching. That's that's a good guess. And here's the thing. This this could be a multitude of things. It really could. But I will I find it interesting that that's what it is. Oh, that's what it is? No, no, no. That's not what it is. But oh. I, find, I find the answer interesting. 67% of people who have left a faith tradition in the last couple of years, what do you think the reason is? Ineffective leadership yeah. of the of the church. You know what? I think that's part of it. They simply stop believing in that religion's teachings, kind of like what we're talking about. And it goes back to a number I'm going to tell you about here in a second. What what percentage of respondents who, um, who left cited negative teaching about the treatment of LBGTQ people? Oh, that's going to be a yeah. That's going to be up there. Let me tell you, it's a major player. I never would have thought this. Really? It's a major player. Oh yeah. Almost half of the people who left an organized religion over the last two years—I think this was taken in, in early 2023—left because of the church's treatment of the gay community, or I say, I say the gay, the LGBT community, but I, I, that gay community, right? You know, or the LGBTQ, the I don't alphabet know, community, the alphabet community. Yep. Makes sense. I mean, it's it's hard to and here's the other hear the thing. sermon when the sermon is about how evil you are. And here's the crazy part. What percentage of Americans who are under the age of 30 have left religion because the religious traditions teachings, uh, because of that, because of the teachings? What percentage of people, of Americans under the age of 30 have left religion because of the religious traditions. I'm, I'm going to go with my original guess of 60%. And I'll go 70. Yeah. Jack, dong it up, dog. Oh. It's exactly 60%. Wow. Ah. I'm going to ruin that and, for you. And here's the odd part of that. <laughs> Even, like, Hispanic Americans who have a problem sometimes, you know, they, they say that we'll stick around longer than most people because they just simply won't leave. Their number one reason for leaving their religion is the LBGTQ com- uh, thing. It's the number one reason in clergy sex abuse and and even one more. Now, it's interesting, though, with that first one, because it could also be people unhappy that the Pope has allowed blessings of same-sex couples as much as it is about the church teachings against LGBT. So, so that does come into play. It does. And the other aspect is the church's involvement in... Politics. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. People do not like it when their churches get involved with politics. I'll tell you a good story. Really? Because that's been happening so much since 2016. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> so out in Seminole County, where I live out there, in a small church where my wife used to go, she went one morning. I did not happen to go this particular morning. And the church brought up a, a guy running for office in Seminole County. Like, brought the guy up. He voluntarily went up in front of the church and gave a stump speech. Uh, you know, on why he should be voted for in church. Let me tell you something. My wa- my wife, who is way more uh, faithful, faith-based than I am, walked out of that church today thinking differently about that relationship between church and politics. She said it felt so odd and skeevy. so skeevy that she did not really care for it at all. And that may have been the last time she went. I don't think it was because of that. I think, you know, that that wouldn't stop her from her faith. Right. But that particular incident, even with hardcore people, even with people who are completely dedicated to that, it was it was a major turnoff. But that is the absolute case, that people do not like it when their churches get involved yeah. with politics. And that is a big part of this. 
Uh, it said the survey also asked about the prevalence of so-called prosperity gospel, which is basically the teachings that you know the the more faithful you are to your God, the more good things that'll come to you in life materials materialistically. Tithing? Uh, no, the the mega church out in Houston. I'm the the name of the pastor is. Uh... I'm uh, Joel, good Joel. Joel Osteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's uh, you well, know, Joel a, Osteen. There's a number of yeah, them. Yeah, Benny mean, Kenneth, Hinn. Kenneth Copeland's one of the big ones. And they're, right. you know, they're all, Kenneth Copeland's pretty sketchy. I mean, they're, all of them are, you know, they got their things, but 31% agreed with the statement that uh, God always rewards people who have good faith with good health, good financial success, and fulfilling personal relationships. Well, so, I need to read about Joe. Yeah, this is a churning. <laughs> and the last thing they, they said, black Americans tend to agree more with these theological beliefs than any other racial or ethnic group. And Republicans are more likely than independents and Democrats to hold those beliefs as well, which I don't think was much of a surprise. No, no. Uh, no. But um, but black voters are uh, but uh, black Americans stick to their faith when they're part of that faith, regardless of anything. They stay there. Well, for a, a lot of African Americans, it's faith is what gets them through. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. And a lot of times, that was the only that was the only time they could gather without right. being castigated or punished or punished. Yeah. Yeah. All right, 407 uh, 91. Is that a good word? Is that right? Is that no, right? I think it was the same yeah. thing as punish. Yeah, it may have been. Yeah. So, oh, look, now, fan- oh. Fancier. Fancier. Mine's fancier. <laughs> cool. Look at that. More you got syllables. something special more, there. More syllables. I win. All right, 407 916 1041. Text you always. us at 77031. <laughs> so it's funny. I do love these stories. We did one of these last week and it did quite well. So we'll do it again today. And these are when you go and you. When you encounter people in the world from all businesses and all types of services, service providers, there's a story uh, on Yahoo Life, and it was basically this. It was like, these are little industry secrets that the general public deserves to know, and it's wildly informative. And I have to tell you, there are about five of these that are pretty darn interesting, and we'll talk about those next. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringo's Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Looking at a slow ride on I-4 still in the Orlando area for those traveling east and westbound on the interstate by the major attractions exits, as well as up in Seminole County between Lake Mary Boulevard and 434. Traffic looks good so far for drivers taking the Beach Line and the Greenway. No major delays to report on the 408. If you see traffic problems, just make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world. And I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit forthepeople.com for an office near you. Make the most of your spring break. Visit Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, the only place where you can meet an astronaut, touch a moon rock, stand nose to nose with the real spatial Atlantis, and much more, much, much more. It's our show's favorite place over there on the coast. We love the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. You're going to as well. Launch into bold new territory this spring. Do that at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Out of down earth price. We'll tell you all about that in a sec. Blast off this spring. Make that vacation awesome at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Be sure to take advantage of this new two day ticket offer, costing less than $45 a day, but offering maximum flexibility for the entire family. Guys, take your fam out there. It is so much fun, very affordable, extremely entertaining. It's hands on, active. You're going to love it. Get all the information you need, tickets, and everything at kennedyspacecenter.com. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Jolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentice Last is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there. The fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. 
Hey, Magic fans, when you're heading out to the Amway Center or anytime you're away from your business, commercial, or residential property, or you have a special event and you want to be sure that you're well protected, contact American Protection Services and Investigations, proud partner of the Orlando Magic. For a full list of our security services, dial 833-4-APSI. Over 30 years in the business, your safety is our top priority because your business is our business. Tax time means a cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Nocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit requires bankapprovalcrchill.com for details. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Business owners, had enough of this yet? Are you just done and ready to retire? Is money tight? Or maybe business is at an all-time high. You have options. Don't just walk away. We can help you sell, retire, and just relax no matter what your situation is. Hi, I'm Andy Cagnetta, and at Transworld Business Advisors, we've been selling businesses for over 40 years. And with offices located around the world, we have thousands of buyers ready to buy your business now. Don't wait until the last minute or try to do it yourself. That is a recipe for disaster. Call for a confidential conversation about your business's current value and how Transworld can maximize your eventual selling price. We will help you win. And in the current climate, you need help to sell your business. Call Transworld at 833-SELL-FLA or visit tworld.com. That's 833 833- Sell FLA or visit tworld.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit forthepeople.com for an office near you. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. The Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Score 0% financing on popular models like Rogue with no payments till 2025 and close out pricing on remaining 2023s. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Click OrlandoNissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. See you for details. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In office Orlando. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now, like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. At work, just pretend you're on a Zoom call with us. Your mic is off. Your mic is off. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. 
A friend of mine was a pastor of what nowadays would be called a mega church. In the old days, we didn't have that term. And when Tennessee was trying to decide if they were going to have a state lottery or not, a big time religious leader, nationally known person on both religious and political scale, stopped by and said, I want to take over your service on Sunday and talk about this lottery thing. And my friend said, look, as long as you can promise me that every single person that hears you talk about the lottery goes to heaven, knows Jesus and all that, I'll let you do it. He did not. Hmm. He didn't go to heaven and he didn't know Jesus, it turns out. <laughs> all right, 407 917 check. Check. Jack went, aww. aww. All right, 407 916 1041. Text us 77031. That was a talk back. You could do it as well. Just go to the iHeartRadio app and use the real radio microphone to send it on down the line. Jack will put it on air just like he just did it. Yeah. Uh, I am Jim. Deb is right there. Hello. And Jack is here as well. What? Okay, so um, did this last week. These are kind of fun. These are like industry secrets from insiders. These are little pieces of information that you may be able to use to make your life easier or better, maybe get a better deal, or maybe just kind of be more informed of how things can happen. And they're all kind of interesting. I mean, some of them are cooler than others. But, you know, I'll, this, is, this is one. We'll start here, right? This guy says, I'm an insurance all right. If you call to request an estimate for a claim, they will count it as a zero claim on your file when they deem the damage not enough for the repair. That means when another company pulls your information, it will not only impact your future rates, but might make you ineligible for future policies. What they're saying is this. If you've had a crash or you've had a bump or something in your car, before you call your insurance company, get a third-party inspector to tell you whether or not you should even file it. Good idea. In, in other words, like let's say I get into a little fender bender on the way home. Maybe right. something like you had to deal with, Jack, at that concert, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That cost you your car. Yeah. Instead of going directly to the insurance company and filing a claim immediately, what they're saying is go to the shop first. Yeah. Let the mechanic look at it and go, well, tell me what this should cost and if I should even repair it. That way you can know beforehand whether you file a claim. Because even if you call the insurance company and don't end up filing a claim. They still it, have that phone call. It still counts as a call to them. And they will put it down as a, uh, they will make a, a note on their record that says that you called about a claim. And that counts the same, I guess. I, that's crap. But, I know. <laughs> that, but that's what you do. So I thought that was, and to be honest with you, this is one of those things I'm embarrassed that I haven't done before already. Like I've, I've had a couple of car crashes where you kind of beat it up a little bit, but not quite enough. Right. And I was like, man. You go to the insurance company, not only is it going to affect you, it's going to make your insurance higher. You know, you don't know what's going to happen after that. And I just can't believe I haven't done this before. So that's one of them. Okay, here's another one. You ready? Yeah. Always wash your new clothing before you wear it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you, do you do that? You do yes, that? Yes, I do. Now, why do you think they say you should do it? Uh, pesticides. No. Uh, pesticides? In the warehouses where they store them. <laughs> yep. I learned it on House. Okay. <laughs> he learned it on a fictional TV show, Deborah. Yeah, hey, I've learned plenty of things on fictional TV shows. What, what I do you think? The chemicals used in processing the fabric. So that's part of it. Because so, I used to break out in horrible hives when I would try on new clothes in the department store. Sheets for me, like when we buy new sheets, I uh, wash them a couple times before we put them on because you want that oh, nap. That, that's ridiculous. Yeah, you want to nap them up. But it says it's been thrown on the floor, moved around a dusty warehouse, maybe tried on by somebody. Oh, it I, sat in a stinky, humid shipping container for two months which is hence the pesticides and it says and Thank plus you. going back to what jack said you want to you want to wash off all the starching finishing products that make it look so new and pressed and clean and tight all of that is there for a reason gotta Devin get that I, out of there Deb and i are taking the bell on that one <laughs> get that out of there i deserve a dong <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to this one here. This, uh, <laughs> this is one that my wife told me about that I'd never heard about this. Do you guys shop online much? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do, right? No. Yeah. You don't shop online much. Jack does. Yeah. Jack, do you know any tricks about shopping online? Yeah, I try to get the most of my Amazon Prime membership. How do, how do you do that? Because uh, there's a way you can do it. I know you're going to love this one. Oh, yeah. I'm Watch leaning in. He is literally, literally <laughs> leaning in. Okay. If you shop online, they say do this. Leave your online shopping items in your cart while logged on. And yeah. the reason why is because it'll put you into an automatic discount offer stream. So if you intend to buy this, what they're saying is if you leave it in your cart for a while, the website will know that you are shopping for those items and it might inadvertently or it might send you coupons to your email before you even buy the items. 
Oh. So they say once you put it in the cart, it shows that you're interested in that product, and it'll start inundating your email with discount coupons, 10 20 15%, maybe a, a total purchase percentage. And I'll tell you why I know this works. My wife does this all the time. I had no idea. We just talked about this because I was talking about this list of stuff that was cool like that. She goes, yeah, I've been doing that forever. And, you know, she shop, she works at a place where people shop like that, and it happens to them all the time. People will buy four or five or eight or ten things, and they'll put it in their cart, and then they'll just leave it there. And eventually that will turn into an email saying, hey, this shopper with this email address has this stuff in the cart. Should we send them a coupon? You know, to possibly induce them to buy some more stuff, and it happens quite often. Well, there you go. Did not know that either. Um, how about this? When you go to the bar and you order a cocktail, and I know this is Jack does this, and I do as well. I do, use a coupon. Do you get cocktails that have fruit in them? Jack does because we yeah. both drink bourbon yeah, and we yeah, both yeah. drink old fashioned. Yeah, well, yeah. if I drink an old fashioned, yeah, but if I do a rum and coke and they offer a slice of lime or lemon, I'll say no thank you. Right, but we have orange peel and we have cherries, cherries in yes. that drink. Mm. They're saying never, ever allow a bar to put a piece of fruit into your drink. Why? And the reason why is because so many people it's touch and put their hands filthy. on it yeah. and it gets dropped onto the top of the coolers and stuff and they don't throw it away. They just put it right back into that little that little holder that has a little lime yeah, and lemon. Okay. okay, so it's not wrong, but I just figured the alcohol is going to take care <laughs> of anything anyway. <laughs> that and the stomach acid, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> no, but if you think about it, I, I, you have your tray of garnishes and you're putting your fingers in there all day and you're washing your hands, but you're also t- touching a lot of gross uh-huh. stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, for those employees who aren't washing their hands, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like eating out of the bowl of nuts they used to put on the uh, on the bar. Uh, another mm-hmm. thing, yeah that, yeah, that community bowl of oh. snack food. My wife is such a party pooper sometimes. <laughs> I remember we were at a bar one time, and they had that great, that really good snack mix. Like that really good one. You get it from ABC Liquor Stores. Right. <laughs> right. And it's got all the crunchy and spicy and all this stuff. And, man, I'm in the middle. I'm just, boom, I'm just killing this bowl of stuff. And my wife looks at me and says, man, you're really in that bowl of, of snacks, aren't you? And I said, yeah, man, it's good. She goes, how many other people do you think had their hands digging into the bottom of those snacks? And I was like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> I was like, I'm not eating any more of that anymore because I was like, I know where my hands have been and I've been <laughs> rifling through this stuff. You mean I'm swimming with salmonella? Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, here's another one for you. Here we go. Okay, here we go. This guy says he works in the medical field. This is about health insurance. It says, uh, he says. Um, Don't use it. There's a guy <laughs> reviewing our notes looking for reasons to deny claims. Now, we've heard this from Glenn Clausman, right? We've heard this for a fact. Oh, and yeah. I think everybody yeah. kind of understands that with insurance, you know, we've seen the movies. You know, oh, yeah. Like, automatically deny. I think it was Rainmaker with Matt Damon, right? Incredible. It says the guy reviewing generally has no clinical knowledge whatsoever. <gasps> but what they're looking for. Our words with codes? Certain keywords that, so that they can stamp denial on the claim. For this reason, he goes, I will omit certain things on the clinical notes if it isn't directly applicable to what I'm treating because I know from experience that when they see that certain word that they will call that treatment inappropriate and then it therefore denied. So I guess, I don't know how you use this as a tool, but if you are at a doctor's appointment and they are filling this out, I guess... You just tell your doctor, make sure not to use any of those stupid keywords that's going to get my health insurance company to kick back this policy or this request or claim immediately. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how you use that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, doc, if I slip you a 20. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's one that's kind of just a heads up, right? right? This, says, this is kind of a lame one here, but it goes, I worked as a shirt printer, and I found out that if you're an adult small, you're better off buying a youth large or youth XL, especially on T-shirts. They're a little wider, and the XLs fit better than the smalls. My sister learned this trick. She's five foot tall and saved a decent amount of money buying youth uh, clothing instead of adult clothing. It's cheaper, too, then, right? Yeah, it's cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you are an adult small, rather than going and buying an adult small, it says go to the youth section, buy that same shirt or style, but buy it as a youth large or extra large. It fits better, and it's usually anywhere from 10 to 20% cheaper. Yeah, the styles, though, you know. Oh, who doesn't want an X-Man farted shirt? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Here's I already have that one. Now, this is, a, <laughs> this is a grocery store one, and I know that we've heard about other businesses doing this, but I haven't heard this 
when it comes to grocery stores, when items are listed on sale at the grocery store, the sale price will be listed on a bib part of the tag with the regular price price listed on the sticky part of the shelf, right? But the regular price is almost always hiked up, sometimes by several dollars, so that when they mark it down, it looks like you're getting a really good deal. But it says pay attention to items at the regular price when, price when they're not on sale and make sure you're not getting swindled. And they say it happens not only in the fruits and vegetables areas, but it also happens in the meat department as well. Oh, wow. You have to be okay. careful for that. Yeah, even the, the BOGO stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's like it's two for that one price, but that one price is at the highest level Oh yeah, that one price would ever be for sure i just gotta i just gotta buy one get one free the other day but the thing i i had to buy to get the other one free i bought a hundred dollar item to get 50 percent off of a 50 dollar item <laughs> i mean it was still a good deal i still got 25 bucks off but still yeah you know here's the other one you don't approve jack no he had to spend an extra 25 to save 25 this, jack is gonna love this one because i think jack maybe has uh jack is adjacent to this one you ready In aldi a- now, Jack I, don't, Jason. I don't know if it's just this particular company. I'm guessing maybe other companies do. They just name this one. Enterprise Rent-A-Car buys their cars straight from the manufacturers at lower a lower price than dealerships even get, right? Because you're buying hundreds, thousands of cars at a time right. from your rental company, right? But here's the thing. After Enterprise rents their cars for a year, they sell them back to the public. Okay. And we know that to be the case, usually at a price higher than they bought them for. In other words, they bought them so cheap from the manufacturer because they're buying so many cars that even with a year of mileage and wear that they sell them after the fact and even make money on them selling to them, selling to them to you as a used vehicle with miles. That's where I bought, I believe my first used car was at Enterprise. As an enterprise business model. Yeah, that is an incredibly good business model. Super smart, but that's exactly what happens. Um, Let's see here. So what's the hack? Well, the ha- I, I, I guess the hack is just to understand if you're buying uh-huh. a, if you're buying a car from Enterprise, <laughs> well, that, it doesn't mean you as a consumer. It doesn't mean you're not getting a good deal buying the used car from Enterprise. That's what I thought at the time. You've got they, all the service records. They just got a better deal. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Well, because again, you're you know they're buying a thousand cars at a time. You're yeah. not. Yeah. So I mean, if, if they make two hundred bucks or about a thousand dollars on a car, you know, times that. I mean, if that's still the lowest price for a comparable car somewhere else, then yeah, you, yeah. you're still ahead. Yeah, exactly. You just have the miles, and then whoever's rented it, you know. That's, and that's the thing you don't know. Yeah, that's the thing uh, you don't know is how it was treated while it was rented. Same thing with a used car, though, yeah, yeah. except that, you know, yeah. you know the company is going to keep a little bit better records possibly than a yeah. private owner would. Yeah, theoretically. At least you'd hope. And then the last one. I just up. want two keys, okay? <laughs> when I buy a used car, I want two keys, oh, not one. Don't get that. Uh, you don't get that. Uh, My son just bought a used car. He got one key. Yep. And he asked for the other one there. They laughed at him. Yeah. So. They just laughed at him. And then on top of that, whoever had the, with the dealership got the car, they put this uh, They put this, um, this safety brake thing on it or whatever. Not a brake, but a safety. Um, it's like a software brake. And basically, the car can only go so fast in the car and the, the um, it's like a valet. Uh-huh. And the radio won't go loud. So he could only go so fast, and his radio wouldn't go all the way up to his, until he had this lock taken off that he finally got done. You just described my driving nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it was. He hated it, too. Oh. oh and then lastly and here. Can you take my stick away? That seems, that's like a new parenting device, let alone, I mean, you're talking about oh. for valet. You kind of lock down the car so you don't have all the access. But I, I think parents would want to do that with kids, too. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Make they, it so you can't go over 60 and... Yeah, that's. I think his car, it would go a little bit faster than that, but not much. 65, maybe, but he couldn't turn his stereo up past, like, maybe 9. You know, it, uh, it goes up to 20, but it, was only, it would I mean, only go up, like, halfway. I think most parents would do that to oh, yeah. for their kids first driving the car. Oh, yeah, it's I a think, great idea it, for it, the it's kids. something to make the cell phones not work. I thought there was a setting on some of those cars that you could access like that and, and go to the computer and set it like that. I think my wife's Volkswagen had that, where it had a setting that if someone's borrowing the car, that you could set limits to how fast it will go, how far it will go, you know, and, all, and, and some of the controls it has. Nice. And then lastly here, when's the last time you stayed at a luxury hotel? Like a like a nice hotel. Uh, does last night count? No, it does not. Okay, then it's been a while. Okay, been a while? <laughs> Did you stay at a hotel last night? No. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I would say last year when we stayed at the Forsyth Park Inn yeah, that's in nice, Savannah. Right? Ooh. It says, here's yeah, what you need to know. Pretty snazzy. If you stay at a lu- and I don't know what, what, what constitutes a luxury Car- hotel. Ritz-Carlton. 
Does it, you yeah, think but it, what what makes it luxury? Where where can oh, they? The bedding, the carpets, the robes. I mean, I understand. Yeah, I, I'm wondering if, it, but I think to your question, I'm wondering is there a you know a, something you have to have before you're allowed to refer to it as luxury? Oh, I see. Or yeah, is yeah. that something anyone can throw out there and you know let the buyer be? Come on, Hampton. I would think the night, <laughs> the the cost per night would kind of put it there, right? Like, I mean, I think if you're maybe. Anywhere above three hundred and fifty bucks a night—that's luxury. Yeah. Well, I think that's what they're going to claim. Yeah, yeah, but I'm asking you guys: Do you yeah. believe that like three hundred fifty bucks a night is like a luxury hotel? No, I don't think I ever would spend that. Really? I don't know. What do you think a luxury I'd hotel sleep in is? My like, car well, first. Like yeah, three fifty. Yeah, three fifty to five hundred a yeah, night. I would say that as well. Luxury hotels document everything. It says the really ritzy places will make a note on every single phone call, every interaction you have. It's great for remembering uh, special occasions and creating a really memorable stay, but it also means that they know exactly how you're a pain in the ass. Yes. And it says, irritate us enough and we'll be oddly busy and sold out for every night that you look to book in the future. So basically, if you go to a really nice hotel and you act like an ass, that if you call that hotel back again, they literally keep a record and go, nah, player, we're all sold. Right. You're good. We're good. Hundred dollars a night. I would sleep in my car before I spent that would much you really? money on, on a hotel room. Are you serious? Five hundred a night. Oh, but the experience, Jack. Jack, I will tell you something, buddy. The bed at a no. Ritz Carlton. No. Oh, you don't know. No. You don't know. No, Jack. My, my seat reclines. Jack, listen to me. <laughs> Jack, listen. No. In your life. Yeah. In what? your life. Yeah. You have to spend at least one weekend in either a Waldorf or a Ritz, okay? Okay. It's ridiculous. Now, you have to understand, even these hotels will run specials for Florida residents. Matter of fact, I believe during the summer, the Waldorf out by Disney in that area there, sometimes they'll run specials where you can stay for the weekend and get some perks, and it's like 550 bucks for the weekend for a room. And... (laughs) I was ready for fifty nine dollars. No, Jack. No, no, no. No, it's no. still the wall. But buddy, I'll stay at listen, the Econa Lodge. No, don't, don't, because <laughs> that that room service and getting that incredible coffee and those pastries no, every no, morning. They and, charge you for that stuff, you right? Know, no, yeah. That's on do. top. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! It's Jack. The carpet. The I knew you, you never want to get every, out of bed. I, I knew you were rich. Every, every, everything is different, Jack. I've been there once. I've been once, and it was a gift. That's stupid. All right, 407. Five, Gotta do it. 916-1041. You Gotta can text us at 77031. Take a little break. Back in a sec. We'll get out of here right after this. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35, Storm Team Meteorologist Ian Cassette with your Central Florida forecast. Showers and a few rumbles of thunder remain possible here through this evening. Quieter weather is expected overnight with a low around 69 degrees. For Thursday, rain possible in the morning as a front exits our area. Showers mostly, but could see a rumble of thunder as well. Into the afternoon, clearing skies becoming breezy with winds out of northwest with a high of 79 degrees. The rest of the week looks sunny with great conditions into Easter weekend. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Ian Cassette. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hey, everybody. Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. It's time to be a hero. Tell your friends and family about Life Imaging FLA. Look, if you have a family member that you think could benefit from this, from Life Imaging FLA and that free life, that heart scan, guys, you got to do it. You know, I'll tell the story and I'll tell it again. My mother-in-law, my father-in-law turned these guys on to it. After my experience with Life Imaging FLA and my wife's experience, it was unbelievable. Could not have been easier. The entire thing is like eight, 10 minutes at the max. But listen, the information you get is game changing. I was standing next to my wife when my mother-in-law called to tell her that her scan was clear her heart was fine no issues at all you sh- you could you could legit hear the relief in her voice that's what it's all about same for my father-in-law as well and that's the experience you're going to have too no dyes you don't take off your clothes no injections this only takes a few minutes but what it can offer you 
is amazing. Early detection saves lives. Don't wait. Do what I did. Call Life Imaging FLA right now. Get that free heart scan. Just a few minimum requirements. It is a $699 value while you're there. Ask about their cancer screening as well. Pick up your cell phone. Dial pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. That's pound 250. Say that keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call today. Make 2024 the year you take control of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from IR Media. Hi, welcome to Ikea and our spring storage event. Oh, hi. Save big on storage with lots of new lower prices and limited time offers. Perfect. I'm making the winter to spring swap and I have no idea where to put my sweaters and gloves. We can help you get organized and store winter away. And we've got in-store events for more inspiration. Sign me up. Visit us in store from 320 to 49 or at ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for more details. Offer valid dates may vary. U.S. only while supplies last. Selection may vary by store and online. See store and ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for complete terms. Restrictions apply. This is trial attorney Jeff Coppin from the injury law firm of Coppin and Lind. Whenever you hear the words, this call is being recorded, understand this is not for your benefit. In my experience representing thousands of clients over 25 years, I have seen insurance companies use these recordings to deny responsibility and avoid paying medical expenses. Let your attorney do your talking for you. Contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, Office Orlando. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, iHeart Media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else. And we can give you access to those potential customers more cost-effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeart Media can work for you. From your cell, dial pound 250 and say keyword, great results. That's pound 250 and say great results. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill. Located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now. Available at harryspoolside.com slash harrys sip and savor. This is Steve Kramer. Let me tell you a business secret. There are sketch companies out there selling awards. Make sure the awards earned by your lawyer are from respected organizations. At Trendley Kramer Law, our lawyers have been recognized by Orlando Magazine Best Lawyers, Florida Trend Legal Elite, Super Lawyers, and listed in U.S. News as a best law firm for years. We've earned the awards that can't be bought. Trendley Kramer, TK Law, one firm for life dot com. You can watch radio being made on a daily basis at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Okay, so here I sit in my work van driving home, trying to picture Jimmy 
in either an adult small or youth extra large t-shirt. Watch your mouth. I'm just sitting here trying to picture that. Well, I, I can prices. see it. Look, buddy. I mean, look, you. <laughs> that, this is a full musical talk back. And there you have it. There you go. Very <laughs> nice. right. Yay. Look, we love those creative ones. You can do that anytime you want. <laughs> yeah, we uh, do. All right, 407 916 1041. Text us at 77031. Coming up tomorrow, let's see, it's Thursday. Mm-hmm. That means we'll have Danny in from Orlando Date Night Guide for Date Night Done Right. We'll also talk to our buddy Glenn Clausman from Colbert Court. Um, and we'll have your calls, texts, and talkbacks. We have something else tomorrow, too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Chef, Chef Tella Luna is coming in from Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill. We are firing that back up again, and I'm pretty excited. If you remember back in the day when we would do these things, Harry's Poolside Bar and Grills at the Rosen Plaza out there, right? It is a wonderful little poolside yeah. restaurant. Well, what we do is we set up a menu with Chef Tella Luna, and then we do some drink pairings, and we invite you to come out for one price. You can enjoy all of it. These things were so popular. They sold out with like in minutes of announcing them. They would sell out a minute. But here's the thing. We would offer the next one up for sale while we were at the one, like the one we're going to do in a couple weeks. While while we're we're there, we will say, hey, look, if you want to book the next one, go ahead. We would book 80% of the volume for the next one from the people who were there at that one. That's how popular they are. Chef Tella may be one of the most underrated chefs in all of the city. He is... A genius. They call it the Sip and Savor Savior event, and the, the ne- Savor. Yeah, Sip right? and Savor, right. The, and the next one is happening April 5th. That's right, yeah. April 5th. But so they're coming in here to talk about it. Uh, why we are so excited is because they're going to bring food and drink. That's Yay. right. Oh, man, let me tell you. And Tella is, Tella is a really, really talented chef. Every single person who came out, not only do you get a really nice meal, you get a really inventive meal, and you get some wonderful cocktails as well. Sometimes they'll pair them up with beer, sometimes wine, sometimes cocktails. It's a great surprise. The menu never lets you down. Multiple choices of proteins, vegetables, all kinds of weird styles and techniques to cook. It is so much fun. And uh, when you hear us talking about it tomorrow, please uh, book it because you're going to enjoy it, and you'll want to be for all of these. I think we're doing three this year. Uh, so that'll be tomorrow, uh, 520, Jack? Uh, yes. Very good. All right, 407-916-1041. What else do we have going on, guys? Anything? Ooh. Nothing else? I think we're just doing phone calls there. Look very good. Uh, yeah. Deb, do we... I can't believe it. What? I, I, I was going to say not that I can't believe it. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. All right, let's do You Heard It Here first. It's time for You Heard It Here First on the Jim Colbert Show. Yeah, let's cover a few stories that broke while we were on the air and uh, weren't available during Woke News earlier today. Former Connecticut Senator Joe Lieberman has died at the age of 82. Lieberman, who was the Democratic nominee for vice president in 2000 under Al Gore, died in New York City following complications from a fall. A four-term U.S. senator. No way, yeah, really? Yeah, Lieberman was the first Jewish candidate on the national ticket of a major party. I'll be damned. I did not know that. Uh, Yeah, I did not know it was the result of a fall. All right, officials in Baltimore say they have recovered bodies of two of the six missing workers on the Francis Scott Key Bridge when it collapsed. Uh, Maryland Governor Wes Moore said during a press conference today that efforts will now shift to, quote, salvage and recovery, end quote, and they're expecting that to take an exceeding amount of time because of the amount of twisted steel that's underneath the water. It's making it really dangerous for drivers to even access those vehicles that are still underwater. Uh, He went on to say that the state has submitted a request to the Biden administration for emergency relief funds and that he did speak with the president by phone. Yeah, I think Mayor Pete said they're going to be... Focusing some federal dollars toward there yes. pretty quickly. So Yeah. And then finally, a seventh grade math teacher and Army veteran in Texas has changed his name to literally anybody else. <laughs> and is trying yeah. to get on the upcoming presidential ballot. The 35-year-old from Fort Worth area was born Dustin Ebby, but he successfully got a Tarrant County judge to sign off on the name change. Now, Mr. Elsie's already filed with the Federal Election Commission and is now working to get on state ballots 
as an independent candidate. Yeah, he says he understands it's a long shot to get on state ballots at this late of a date. Mm -hmm. But he hopes word will spread and voters will write him in come November. Don't do that. His campaign website, though, if you want to check out literally anybody else. Dot com. There you go. And you've heard it here first on the Jim Colbert Thanks, Show. Thanks, I appreciate that. Don't forget to get your Monsters Brew Bus tickets. They go live Friday morning at 10 o'clock. And, guys, let me tell you, a ticket that sells fast, this is the one. Have your money ready to go yep. and have your phone on speed dial because that thing goes quick. Uh, three breweries are covered. Jack is going to be riding with them this time. I will be. Gonna uh, be a blast. Realradio.fm slash brew for the details. You can see the breweries we will be visiting and also 10 a.m. Friday. Just set the appointment and be ready to go. Yeah, everyone has sold out. I, I, what are they? Yeah. Set, 60 seats, something like that? Yeah, it's yeah, it's uh, 56 on the bus, but then we have to hold, you know, 10 back or so. So we'll, we'll be selling about 45 seats. Yeah, so I mean, again, hop in there because, and that's no pun. Yeah. Hey. 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 Like what hop, you hop, did Easter, there. Yeah, Easter, get in there. Get, hop, in there. get in there. Get in there. I thought he meant beer hops. All right, 407 916 And don't forget he to did, follow Dad. us on he YouTube. <laughs> Just go to jimcoberlive.com. Go right through to our YouTube channel. Give us a like and a share there, a like and a subscribe. We appreciate that. Follow us all on social media. Um, we love that. We need that as well. Go to Real Radio. Follow us on social media on Real. And uh, that's it. That is it. Did we thank anyone again? I was going to say yeah. that's not, not it, actually. Well, I'm not done yet. I was going to okay, all right. Deborah, who do we have to thank today? Pop up was are resetting very, his very, brain. Very aggressive today. <laughs> Let me do my job. Deborah, who do we have to thank today? You should probably get used to that. Uh, our thank yous, first of all, are brought to you by Life Imaging FLA. Thanks to them, we're able to thank Daryl Payne of Pawfection Dog Training, uh, Orlando Sentinel columnist Scott Maxwell, and last but never least, Candace Rich and Sam Bowen for running our YouTube chat. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. We always appreciate that. Jack, question of the day? Yeah, it comes from our YouTube chat, and we ask, do you know how to drive a stick shift? How many oh. people? I think I think a lot of our audience does know how to drive a stick shift. What percentage? I'll go seventy. How about eighty-four yeah, yeah, percent? Yeah, wow! Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, man, our our people are real people, real also, deals people. That's nice of, to know. Speaking of uh, driving, keep an eye out. We've got some uh, heavy rain moving into the uh, Central Florida area. In case you're going to be hitting the roads like us there in the next go. few minutes. All right, let's get out of here. On behalf of Deb and Jack, I am Jim. We follow the news, Shooky. They follow the monsters in the morning after us. It's Tom and Dan with the Corporate Time and our friends from Real Laughs. We'll see you tomorrow at 3 for more of the Jim Colbert Show. Until then, have yourself a fantastic Wednesday evening. And go put some hump in your day. Woo! Bye. I don't think so. A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan is coming up next on Real Radio 104.1.